Do, 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 do. And we are back. Hello, everybody. His Royal Fan is here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. WZ1321. Oh dear, this poor tank. Currently, the worst performing tier 10 tank in terms of win rate. Yep, right at the bottom. Right there, at the very bottom. People are struggling to win in this vehicle. And it's also one of the least played in the in the bottom four, if I remember correctly. But it's really not all that bad. At least that's it's my take on it. I've played quite a few games in it recently and found it to be a overall pretty enjoyable experience. So I'm thinking people probably just don't know how to utilize the tank properly. I'm gonna do my best to try and show that. I'm on stream. I may do well. I may do trash. Who knows? I will say though, the last time I played this tank in my account for about a dozen games, I was averaging 4,300 average and 80% plus win rate in it. So I've been cooking up in the tank recently, but um, I do think a lot of people are struggling it. Let's go. Hey, how's it going by the way to everybody in chat? By the way, thank you very much for joining me today. Glad to see you as always. Hope you're all having a great Sunday. We have Euso, James, Aaron, Tennessee, uh, Svalt, Svalt, uh, and man, Big Chungus, Scenery, Harbinger, and Immortal on Blitch, Jared, Halfway Crook, Bob, a boring pickle. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you all here. Please do smash that like button. It is appreciated. How's it going, Helmy? How's it going, Chef? Chef Air? <laughs> JP Man, good morning from the Philippines Fanis. Oh, good morning. It's probably pretty early for you. Goodness, early, early squad. All right. So, let's, let's, let's discuss the WZ-132-01. What makes it great, what makes it bad, all right? First, let's talk about the pluses of this tank. High Alpha for Light, 360 damage, it's pretty nice. Accuracy, it has a very fast aim time and its dispersion is pretty good when aimed in. The gun performs really, really well in that regard. Uh, 50-50, DPM, 3000 base DPM is decent. It's not the best for tier 10, obviously, but it's enough for you to deal a decent amount of damage in a variety of scenarios although there are tanks with better dpm that you have to watch out for mobility tank goes 67 kilometers an hour and while it doesn't have the best acceleration in class at least as far as i'm aware i think the bat chat still has the best acceleration in class it does eventually reach the top speed so it's pretty nimble it's pretty fast its profile is also small i think it's probably the second smallest of the tier 10 lights um comparatively like we look at the size of a shirt and you look at the size of this, the size of a bat chat. Bat chat's pretty similar, but has a slightly taller hull. Only the T100LT is smaller. So it has a nice small profile. Now let's, uh, oh yeah, yeah, we can't forget. Also has the adaptive concealment mechanic, and that works hand in hand with its newer gun. Newer as of 10.3. Basically, you get unspotted 10 seconds after you leave the V range of a vehicle, which is cool because your reload running calibrated, which is what I generally do run on this tech nowadays, is 7.2 seconds. So. That means when you're peek peek booming people for your 360 alpha damage, you get unspotted by the time your next shell is reloaded. And so that's kind of cool. The newer gun versus when it was first released works much better with this tank's mechanic because you kind of just goes hand in hand with your reload time and your spotting time. So that's cool. It also lets you know when you are spotted. So just some quality of life there. Most good players will figure out when they are spotted, but it's nice just to have that little indicator. On to the bad things. Zero armor. Okay, let's, to be fair, it has a little bit. It has a little bit here and there, but mm, 85 to 95% of the time, you're gonna get pens regardless. There are the very kind of lucky occasions when someone hits a little weird angle on the tank and ricochets, but this is no T100LT. This doesn't have quite as crazy auto ricochet angles. And so you do get pens quite frequently in this vehicle. Second big issue with this vehicle, is going to be it's five degrees of gun depression. Yeah, five. It's not great. You have no armor. You don't really have a bunch of DPM and you have high degrees of ground depression. That makes you struggle on so many maps and it is truly painful. You always have to fly, fight on flat terrain, basically in this tank. And so gun depression is probably my biggest gripe with this tank. I wish I had six degrees or even better seven, although seven might be too much, but at least six, right? Just so it's a little bit more flexible on those maps. I mean, it's a light tank. You're not gonna be sitting in a flat town environment facing heavies. At least you shouldn't be. And if you are, that might be the problem. And so that basically what this tank has going for it is an accurate, Decently punchy 105 millimeter gun with good mobility and some interesting mechanics and acceptable DPM numbers. You really have to play like intelligently in this tank. You can't just YOLO around. You're not a bad shot. You're not going to just find someone dump a thousand damage into him. You're not a Sheridan. You're not just going to poke and deal 560 damage. It is 
it is you have to be painfully aware situationally aware you have to really read when to rotate properly in this tank you got to avoid brawls when possible unless you don't really have a choice or you have to make a pressure and you just have to really really use your brain a lot when using this tank versus in my opinion most of the other tier 10 lights i think that's why it struggles a lot so let's jump into some games let's see how it goes and i will try and show and explain how i'm playing this tank uh, it seems about 44% of people think the tank is average, 43% think it's good, but hard to play, and 14% think it's garbage and impossible to play. <laughs> I have a pool going. Hello, one. I'm the <laughs> what the heck, Immortal on Blitz? What are you talking about? All right. So what I'm going to do for the start of this game, I do like this camo. I'm not so sure about the flashing LED like uh, lights on the side skirts, but I do like how they how they uh, created them. Let's jump into it. We're going to spot up the mid. Bad Chat does have me in V range. They have some mobile heavies. It's a supremacy matchup. I prefer to go BC in supremacy matchups especially, but we will see how this goes for the start. All right, so we do find ourselves a Bash off the on and a 113 GFT, and we were not spotted. Now we are spotted. So that's the good news. All right, there's a WZ there. Let's pop a quick snapshot into him, and then dash just where this tank's lovely 360 alpha damage feels so good as we're able to punch that dude for 390 in the face. Now we're going to back down from here because I did my job. I got info on their team. I'm going to try and get away without getting shot. Hopefully this dude does not block me. There we go. I'm going to help my allies clear out the A side. We know there's a WZ up there. We know where the WZ TD is. We know where most of their team is, let's be honest. And so we can start working around to create those crossfires. Let's start by pulling up into this middle push here. We might have some decent shots onto their WZ. WZ does make the correct call and falls down into the ditch there. And the uh, Optic 777 is getting kind of slam dunked. So, interesting. Our 2 and 5 v definitely let himself die there. That's a bit unfortunate. And we know they have some tanks over in the C corner right now. They are jumping onto the cap. I think at the moment, our priority should be killing this WZ120 here. So, I'm going to start pressuring him out a little bit. Put another shell to him. 390 damage again. And now we have everyone's favorite light tank, the Bash Shot the Yawn, pulling on up to try and deal with us. Please don't do that to me, buddy. That, just, that ruins my shot a little bit there. Bad Shot is starting to make a break for us. Let me think about the rotation I can make here. WZ's not paying attention to me, so let's put a shot into the Bad Shot and push across behind the WZ. That way we can get a pretty decent crossfire going on these fools without overextending ourselves too much. Gonna put another shot into the 2 and 5B. 450 max roll. And, you know, this whole game, I've been flexing around their team without trying to get myself stuck in a very frontal engagement with them. Now, fortunately, my team did the right thing here. They went BC, and they did a very good job fighting in B, so that's always kind of clutch. That's not always the case, but it was certainly the case this time, and their bad chat just finished destroying himself, basically. The yo is not going to be long for this world either, so at this point, we can just YOLO for damage. Oh, yeah, that yo is definitely not going to be around for very long. Oh, no. Oh, 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 bless him. He is dead. Let's pick up a kill on him. Look at this gun, by the way. The accuracy of this gun is very satisfying, from my experience with it, at least. All right, let's put another shot into this dude. 366. He's done 2.6k damage. You know, not, not, not the most damage in the world. There we go. 220 ram damage, and we can't HE this dude, so I'll put an AP into him. And there we go. And now that's like, what? 3 point... Yeah, maybe like 3.2k, 3.1-ish k damage. Not the highest, but I think we did our job, and you definitely saw the mentality of that battle, which was always just kind of flexing around. Getting that early info on their team is always helpful, because then that lets you know what areas are mostly free. Our Batcha did a pretty good job there, too. Uh, and my team did a really good job holding the middle of the map. That is also a first class in the tank, because, yeah, no one plays this tank, and then when they do play it, they suck in it. Team different, to be honest. Yeah, that team was pretty good. That team was pretty good. Um... <clears throat> I have to know. Fanus just started without us. <laughs> I have to know what race is he? What's the secret? Wait, my race? Bobby, come here. Come on. Come on. Jump onto my lap. Come here. What race am I? He's Mexican. Trust? No habla español. <laughs> Every time I see you go, it genuinely makes me happy. Oh, thank you. Go live. Thank you very much. Do appreciate that. One to one B or 30 B? 30 B all day. 120B is okay, but 30B is definitely better than two tanks. So, same scenario here. We're going to go for that early spotting run. This time, the enemy team do have the Bashroth Yawn, and they have a KPZ 50T. So, DPM and clipping potential. Overall, just the better light that I'm going to be facing against here. Um, at least we do get some early insight onto what the Bat Chat's doing. And the 50B. Interesting. So, we're going to go for an early shot on the 50B here. Then, we're going to pull immediately back into cover. I'm going to wait for my camo to kind of re-engage, re maybe. I have a feeling, based on the 50B's kind of aggressive early play, and we're already unspotted, I love that 7 second spotting time, uh, that there's a decent chance their team could push through here. And there we go, we've already found the 100 who did not spot me, by the way. And so that was kind of my goal of making this rotation here, was to make sure I didn't get caught in a crossfire and, well, die. So, we're going to lose the top side. It's just me and an E4 here. 
And I think what I'm going to do is just actually fully commit to pulling out of this area. I don't want to abandon our E4 fully, but at this point, there really isn't much of an option for me. So I might be able to get a crossfire on to this E100 here, which would be pretty huge. I'm going to see if I can pull that off at all. And at the moment, we can't do anything about the E100. It is what it is. But I'm just going to keep pulling out into a safer position here to find a spot where I can deal with the E100 or maybe the T1083 or the 268 that's YOLOing into our spawn at the moment. Let's see. T1083... 268, come on, 268, pull through. There you go, buddy. There you go. Quick shot to the 268 there. Now we're going to have to deal with our spawn a little bit. The 183 did back up safely. Good rotation on you, good sir. No spots just yet. I mean, this is the, like, ult ultimate passive gameplay. I made the right call of not over committing to this flank here. That is for sure. Uh, this E100 pulling around the corner. Let's track him here in place. There we go. And the batch and uh, E5 should be able to kind of finish him here. But never mind. Our E5 is not the best. So, ooh, let's not get 183'd. That'd be uncool. 183 did just fire his gun here. So what I'm going to do now is help my team kill this KPZ. He's the high DPM med that's going to be a real pain for us to deal with soon. And here's where I can pop that adrenaline. And I was saving the rotation to deal with this dude here. So let's pick up a kill on this man's here. There we go. Unfortunately, our bat chat does get taken out here. Uh, and same with our T-125. But we can at least start dealing with the enemy's Bosch off the yawn. Without getting ourselves 183. At least that's the plan. All right. Another shot onto this dude. There we go. Jamming his turret even. And that's not, that's not a good sign. Okay, here's where we die, guys. Here is exactly where we die. So let's track their bat chat in place, at least. Um, and there's also a 50B yellowing in after me here. So, yeah. Oh, I get tracked. Okay, I'll make this do a one-shot at least. There we go. I at least made him a one-shot, so he died there. But I didn't think the 50B was going to send it. I was hoping the 183 and I7 would cover me a little bit. So, not a whole lot we did that we could do in that specific scenario. And that's just we're not having DPM is a bit of a rip. Because if I had a little bit more DPM there, then maybe I could have come into the yellow. The reason I couldn't just full send it on the batch as there was a 183. Just kind of cross-firing that corner. So, I had to run the opposite direction. Uh, nice rotation by the 50B, to be fair. He made the right play. They're going for the kill on me instead of going for the 183 and I7. Our team might still win. They have they have the slightest chance. Um, I7 kind of taking his time, but the 183... 183, you just got to go and hash kill him. And if you take a shot from their 183, so be it. Oh, okay. Well, don't let our I7 go first. Okay, our I7 is probably going to be dead. The moment he pokes this corner, he is getting sent to the Narnia verse. Or not. Go for a track shot. Oh, oh, nice. Clean play by the 183 and I7. Now it's a two versus one. We might actually get the dub here. Let's go. So it's a good thing I did manage to at least help our team kill the bat chat. I think we would have lost without that bat chat dead. Um, we, we would have definitely won if I hadn't died, but oh well. Uh, I do think we have the W in the bad guys. I think we got the W in the bad. Not particularly fond of RNG here. Doing a good job. And same with our IS7, who I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. If the 183 just shoots AP, we can guarantee the kill with the I7 here, but he's probably going to go for the head shot. Ooh, he does go for the head shot. Nice. Good stuff. I uh, 50 b kind of messed up there. He probably shouldn't have pushed in so aggressively. I'm going to be honest. Um, he probably should have just sat back a little bit and waited for them to over, waited for my allies to overextend. We did 3.6k damage that game. So still a pretty good game, right? I ended up dying. Good job to the I7. Good job to the 183. Picking up five kills, by the way. Good lord. Um, enemies batch has somehow find 4k up that game. But we did okay, right? 3.6k damage in that scenario. And we didn't even get the farm like the 50B or the full HP 183. So I'm happy with that. Uh, I would have preferred not to die though. But I think overall, the decision making is pretty solid there. You can't compare this tank to the Vickers, to be honest. You, you can, to in a degree. They both have like the same DPM, and they're both light tanks, and they both <laughs> they both are pretty mid, a pretty mid experience. Okay, this is what we're gonna do here. Early spot, try and get a shot into their bash off the yawn, or maybe their T fifty four E one. The T fifty four E one probably would be too slow. I won't get the initial spot on him, but we might be able to get the initial spot on the bad chat in an early shot. Then we're gonna pull down so we don't get hit by TDs. This is my kind of favorite early spot here, just to get that early vision. On whoever's crossing up. There we go. Quick shot into the bat chat. Who, by the way, did not spot me until he pulled all the way through the bush. So that's cool. Now we're gonna pull down and get safe for a bit. Just for just for just for a moment here. And what I see is the enemy's 183 is in a very peculiar crossfire position on me. But the 183 did just shoot. I believe that was the sound of the 183 shooting. There we go. We've also cleared out the bash off the on. That's huge. There's the enemy's 54E1 there. And I don't quite have shots on him. And I'm probably not gonna sit here because that 183 does have a crossfire from above me. So Let's not get ourselves killed here just yet, since we do have a degree of map control here. At least the 1E3 won't be able to do much to me. And I do have cover fire from the Waffentrega, so let's just sit back for the moment. Let's see. 
You know, maybe their 405 is back there. We'll take a blind shot or two just in case. He probably is back there or he's in spawn one or two. So I'm going to take a couple blind shots just, just for security reasons. Yeah, because why not? There we go. All right. Now let me think about how we're going to play this out, guys. Because we don't want to deal with the 183 frontally. That's for sure. And we don't want to deal with a nine, like a thousand damage auto loading medium tank either. Uh, both of those scenarios would be rather unideal for this tank. There's the enemy's 183 rotating out though. So that's huge. All right. We know where the 183 is. And I think now we are set to kind of start making counter plays over here. On their T5041, for instance. Let's see. Where's the 5041 at? There's the 183 at least. Let's see. If we have more than two shots of damage, then we blind fired someone. And we did not, but I'll take it. And the 183 does get himself nuked there a little bit. There's the 5041. Let's just pop an AP into him. Pretty sure I loaded AP before firing that, but oh well. Anyways, I think we are chilling now in terms of map control. Yeah, we should be good. So I played it really, really slow over here. But my primary objective in this map especially, the most important thing you can do, is take that early map control away from the enemy team. And once you get that medium flank, you are chilling. And so we have a wild 4005 here. Let's try not to take more than one shot from him. There we go. Two HEs into him, about 900 damage between those two shells. So that's always pretty saucy. We do have the 4005 still in front of us. Put another HE into him. That's another 390 damage. I do love the HE alpha on this tank. I think it's very, very solid here. All right, another HE into him. Nice, 380. He does not have a spawn liner, it appears. And I think we're going to be good to push up here. I, oh, oh, nice, nice. The 183 floss his shot. Let's go. Nice. All right. So, yeah. Playing very, very sneakily on this flank worked out to my advantage. That's for sure. As we win this game already. And we do have a decent amount of map control. Let's go pick up a... Actually, max roll. I'm going to be damage greedy. Yeah, I'm going to be damage greedy here. Now I'll pick up the kill on the type. I'll pick up the kill on the type now. I will still pick up the kill on the type. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. The reason I was damage greedy there is like, this is a guaranteed win. I had a max roll loaded up. Your boy really wanted that extra damage. You see? Big brain. All right. Another shot here. And GG. That's going to be about 4,500 damage that game. Get it onto an empty flank and you'll have a good time in this tank for the most part. Obviously, you know, other lights would be better <laughs> most of the time. But we cooked up, right? We cooked up. Probably a nice tanker. 4,500 damage. 1,300 spotting that game. Um, a bit greedy for damage there at the end, but I don't mind being greedy in that scenario. Fanis, nice to see you. Show me how pros play this, this boy. I will do my best. Hello, Fanis, sir. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, John. And AGR as well. Um... What a jump scare at the 183. Uh-huh. <laughs> dobre vecher. Uh, dobre, dobre. Uh, should I get the chart chariot here or BZ68? Uh, go for BZ. Uh, actually, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. The 4005 isn't really all that great right now. Uh, and the BZ isn't all that great either. But if you run the 130, the BZ can be pretty pretty decent damage greater than teammates' life. <laughs> hey, our T63 still survived. Buddy was doing the big face hug maneuvers. Anyway, so the start of this game. Let's spot their early mid-game mid crossing. Uh, hopefully the bat chat doesn't spot me. I'm hoping to see their Yag Tiger pulling up into that bush or something. If we get here fast enough. And we are cruising at 73, so we should. Um, but the bat chat already spotted me. Because, yep, that tank gets 350 view range. Because why not? You know, because why not? Why why, why shouldn't they get 300 and, and like 50 something view range? Because, you know. You know, Wargaming. The tank has like the same gun depression as my vehicle too. Go on, poke it. Poke it. I dare you. I don't want to overextend here though. So we're going to try and bait him back a little bit. Let's see. We're keeping him proxied here at least. There's the IS-7. So I'm getting some... I'm still getting plenty of vision for my team, which is kind of the, the thing I was hoping to do here. We have an idea about the IS-7's position. Who else do I have on my team? I have this uh, Mystic player. Uh, but it looks like the majority of the enemy team has gone towards the town. Now, do I play passively in towards town or do I just full send it? The other option would be to clear out the Bash out the on. But you know what? The IS-7 is by himself on that flank. So the IS-7 might not have been the worst play for me but uh for now i'm gonna focus on clearing out this bash off the on here the bash off the on is the real problem for me let's put another shot into this batch out here we do manage to track him in place and i think we have now overextended enough for my liking so let's get out of here this is going to be a brawl that i will not want to take nor will i feel great taking uh let's see if we put another shot to the hori there we go i'm just going to try and farm out this flank as much as i can with this bash off the on for support here and the strvk is in the mid the is7 is still at the cap in the back strvk taking a few shots here the bat chat's pretty low so let's see if we can put a shell into the bat chat and wow we hit the fountain and bobby is now crawling all over my ipad so that's cool <laughs> this bat chat is an absolute menace look at this dude he's just hopping left right and center and he just cleared out our other bat chat there <laughs> but one thing you'll notice is i'm never over committing to a fight here that's that's the important oh god i'm lagging okay wow that was bad <laughs> that was pretty bad 
honestly. Alrighty, so we're gonna put another shot into this batch eye here. Then we're gonna start pulling in, in behind these fools here. Let's see, STRVK is pulling back in through the middle. Batch at finally getting taken down here. There's the STRVK. Let's put a track shot into him here. Very nice. We're going to probably accept that we're taking some damage from this dude here. There we go. Oh, huge. The fire is huge. The fire is huge. Please kill him with the fire. I don't want to take another shot from this dude, but I don't really have a choice here. So we'll have to pick up the kill there. Okay, which way is the ST1 looking? I can't quite tell. I don't think he's looking at me. No, he's definitely not. Ah, uh, that was a bad shot on me. Okay, let's go help our WZ pick up the size 7. We can worry about those other dudes in a moment. So, yoloing around like a piggy is working so far. Let's put a shot into this dude's fuel tanks as well. Let's go. The double fires. Very saucy indeed. Make him a one shot for our WZ TD here. Another shot for the fuel tanks, maybe. And, uh, nope, he, he gets taken down. That's a bit unfortunate, ain't it? I don't know if the I 7 has enough gun depression here. He should not. Okay, and now we can probably just accept we're taking one from the I-7 here. Yeah, we definitely are taking one from the I-7 here. We should have the kill on him at least. Unfortunately, I am very much dead here. I don't think I even have time to escape. Maybe I should have just kept running and... Ah, let's see if we can eat it in in time. Oh, so close. Okay, I did what I could there. Probably did a decent amount of damage. The problem... I probably should have rotated out for the I-7 sooner, but I really wanted to help my team on the front because once we lost that team on the front side, we were pretty much lost. Uh, and that's basically what ended up happening there is we, oh, sorry, not, okay, okay, our bat chat was not the best. Okay, so our bat chat got himself destroyed there. Um, yeah, that, that wasn't the best scenario because we didn't really have the ability to hold the flank all that great. With an IS, a full HP I-7 and STRV cross-firing, it would have been really hard for me to make that counterplay on the flank unless I isolated the IS-7 in a position where the where the STRV would not be able to cover me. Uh, so I, that's why I wanted to support town there the best I could. But the problem was is that their town force is just so much better. To be fair, my team never should have even gone town in the first place. They, they probably should have just gone towards the mid slash A because that's what our team was more optimal for with like a T57 as our tier 10 heavy tank instead of an E100 on their side and, and whatnot. But you kind of just have to work around your teammates, which I did. We still did 3,500 damage. I'm still pleasantly uh, uh, somewhat happy with those results. I would have preferred 4K. If I could have gone away, I could have farmed out a lot more damage that game there, maybe up to 4 to 5K, but it is what it is. We can't do much about that scenario. All right, so early spots over heavy side. So far, nothing spotted. Other than the bash off the on in mid. And our heavies haven't spotted anything either. And oh gosh, the game keeps just giving me little bats of lag. Okay, there's the VK72. It's good to know. I don't know if there's a bad chat back there, but if there is, I will be spotted now. Interesting. So there's someone in the encounter gap. Let's see if we can find out who it is and get an early shot into them. What the heck? I'm not even driving forward. Oh, this is some laggy gameplay. All right, Mr. Bash shot Dion spotted here. Big shell to him there. Nice stuff. He's going to pull forward to try and shoot me, but that's not going to work. <laughs> I see I have loss. I do have loss. I was like, yeah, this, this doesn't feel all that smooth. Okay. So here's the problem that I foresee. Our team will not be able to do a whole lot about these heavies that are dug in right now. The bat chat's going to be free farming. The girl's covering the flank with the WZ. The best option we'll have for now is to clear out the middle and the chieftain and the bat chat. And that's probably where I'm going to end up rotating out here. Uh, just because pushing to those heavies, I think, is just not going to work out for my team's advantage here. Now, the problem being this KPZ here, we do manage to get a nice track shot into him, and the WZTD has just popped up from the Narniaverse. That's cool. All right. So, yeah, that's not looking great for us at all. This is what we'll probably end up doing here. I don't think he'll be fast enough to get up there and shoot at me if I push through here. Now that we know where all their TDs are as well, we can start maybe progressing a little bit onto this Gorilla 15 here. There we go. Quick shot to the grill at least. WZ has just fired his gun as well. Let's pop that adrenaline. See if we can get the grill to become a one shot here. Quick shot into the grill's tracks. Nice. We managed to shoot the grill pretty hardcore there. Very, very saucy for me indeed. And let's see if we get another shot into the grill. Oh, nope, we do not. There's the batch. Oh, snap. There they all are. Okay. Well, that could have been a lot worse than it was. All right. Chieftain early shot. Track shot into the chieftain there. Grill gets taken down. Kron's pulling back. I'm stuck in a crossfire, but I have a crossfire in this Kron's turret here. So let's put an H into the back of that turret. Nice. And for now, I'm just going to have to help my teammates stay alive for just a little bit longer. But the problem being this KPZ has a crossfire on me here. So that's going to be a very interesting experience. <laughs> Luckily, if I hug this corner properly, he won't have the best of shots on me. Problem being the WZTD for sure. It's another shot into this chieftain here. All right. Uh, the WZ has just fired. So let's utilize this opportunity to try and get out of here. 
All right, so we do manage to get out of the crossfire, which is the goal. So mission accomplished in that regard. KPZ still sitting back. I think we provided a good enough amount of cover fire from here. And KPZ is going to start shooting at our crons soon, I think. The problem is, I think the KPZ can outspot me here with the bushes in front of him. All right, can I help our dudes push on this WZTD here? I probably have to. So let's go for the counter rotation now. Crot actually made it across unspotted. That's very interesting. Nice kill. So not the highest damage game, that's for sure. But I think we made the right plays. That's what matters the most, right? All right, KPZ has activated them tungsten shells. Let's see if he pulls out again to give me a shot here. Kron, you should just pull back, buddy. You don't want to take a tungsten fire from this dude. And there's the Bashat Theon. Bashat Theon, unfortunately, picked up a kill on one of my allies there. So we have not won this game just yet. We still have a full HP 62A who has refused to move all battle. Batchat might be here, so let's take a blind shot. Unfortunately, he did not manage to hit him, but I'm going to spot him if he tries rotating out, at least. For now. Or you know what? 62A is making a rotation. The 62A, the, they're both going to go for the Kron, probably. Now, I am currently unspotted. I'm not sure where the Batchat is, but the Batchat probably would push in on, on this dude, right? Once the Batchat rotated all the way out back towards their spawn, that's also a possibility here. Ah, dang, we missed the QPZ. Yeah, okay, there's the Bash Shot Theon. I was a bit concerned about his positioning. But now we know where he is, so that's huge. All right, quick shot into the Bat Shot. 62A just bled out half his HP unnecessarily. That's not very good for us. I'm going to have to start making a bit more of an aggressive counter push here. Kron bouncing his shots on the KPZ as well. This is very much not good for us. We're going to have to see if we can kill this KPZ at all. All right, now I think I saw the Bat Shot rotating back here. Oh, 62A, that is not the right play there, buddy. High roll. We do manage to get the high roll there. So that's the good news. Uh, the bad news is the Bashat Theon can just YOLO me and kill me here. So, what I'm going to end up doing now is the Batchat can one clip me is... I should be unspotted already. We have two minutes to finish this game off. My guess is the Batchat's running towards our spawn. Just a little guess. I wonder if we can catch him out. That's the real important part. Get one shot into him and pull back before he can clip me. And it's game over for that Batchat. That's, that's kind of the goal for now. So let's see if we can make some wide rotations here and try and catch them off guard in our own spawn. Hopefully that's going to be the case of what happens this game. If not, then I'll have to bink even harder. A minute and 34 seconds. I really don't have the time to chase this dude all the way around the map here. Okay. There we are. There's the bash shot the on. Not quite able to hit that first shot onto him. Okay. Now we're going to have to play cat and mouse. Here's the goal. We're going to act like we're running away here. Oh, come on, Batchat, commit to it. This dude's being an absolutely passive player. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> if I wasn't one clippable to this Batchat, I would just send it on him already. I do have adrenaline. Let's see. He has a 2.8 second intro clip here. There he is. He didn't spot me either. That's huge. He's just sending it around the corner. 53 seconds left here. And we caught him out. That's huge. Oh, no, that's not big. That's not that's not huge. That is not huge at all, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, what is he doing? Is he actually just running away? Bro, you could have clipped me there. Nah, this is a joke. This bat chat's a joke. <laughs> if I'd hit that, it would be game over already. Okay. Oh, no. We are, we are dead. We are dead. Thank you, Wargaming, for making such a balanced tier 10 light tank. I got scanned by RNG on that bat chat, man. What the heck was that? Dog water RNG. I had to I had to send it though. That dude would have just ran to a draw. Of course, a player like that gets 5k in a bat chat. Wargaming nerfed the bat chat already. Remove its interclip boost for starts. If he didn't have that, I actually would have had them there. My goodness, if the gun hadn't scanned me against the bat chat, we literally would have won that. I don't know how I missed his entire side with this with this type of accuracy. That was just a bro momento. <laughs> What a silly bat chat, man. He played that so terribly, and yet RNG was on his side, and, well, because the bat chat is the most broken tier 10 light we have in the game right now, he wins with these. Okay. Well, let's jump into the next game. Unfortunately, was not able to cook up that battle, but maybe we'll cook up on the next one. Who knows? We're going to start by trying to see if we can spot up those Karos. Okay, we got some early insight onto what the Karos are doing. Um, and we also got an early confirmation that my teammates are nowhere to be found. So let's put a quick shot into this Karo here. Let's try and rotate out as safely as possible. There we go. We do manage to make the safe rotation into the middle here. 
That way, I can at least guarantee I'm not going to get insta yellowed. That's how you make that rotation, by the way. If they're holding C cap, that's how you want to make that rotation. All right. All right. Quick shot towards the V4. Unable to hit it, unfortunately. It's not the end of the world, though. This dude can't really move up on me here um, at all. This I7 stops blocking my shots, that is. Thank you. There we go. Hat shot. Nice. 350 damage dealt there. And it looks like they're all rotating back. Plus, this Karo 45T is kind of in a bad position now. So, I wonder if we can capitalize on that at all. Yeah, okay. Well, that 183 is going to be a bit of a bigger problem. Never mind. Yes, they had a shots to become a problem. Put a quick shot into him there. 390 damage. In the back of the dude over here. Nice. All right. So, they're clearly going to have some crossfires in our own spawn here. Something we'll have to watch out for. 23 stalls and drop down, huh? Yeah, this dude is determined to stay in this position. Although I don't know how well it's going to end up for him. There we go. Nice. Max roll clear there. Good stuff. So you can see I just rotated around based on where I felt my allies would provide me the best assistance. And this position seemed to have worked just fine. So let's see if we can pick up a kill on the 260 here. Unfortunately, that one went a little bit awry. I did kind of rush it, to be fair. But I had the whole side of his turret. So I was like, mm, I can probably just pull it off. But we didn't. We failed. All right. Do we go for the version 4 here? Maybe we do. We're gonna have to rotate in quickly here to try and get to his rear. There we go. And I don't think we can HE that. No, we cannot. But it's fine. We can just start shooting AP at him here. And that should be basically GG for the version 4. Hello, version 4. How's your day going so far, sir? Obviously not very good. So allow me to rotate out and farm your 215B pal instead. Alrighty. Hello, Mr. 25B. Give me those fuel tanks. Damaged him. Oh, this is free farm. This dude has no clue what he's doing. Oh, he has absolutely no clue what he's doing, fuel tanks. Nice. Very nice there, sir. Very nice, fuel tanks. <laughs> Why can't I hit his Nord fuel tanks? No. Wait, aren't you gonna kill the prog, buddy? Aren't you gonna kill the prog or not? Ah, oh, fuel tanks, let's go! We got the fuel tanks! <laughs> it took three, it took three or four attempts. We got the fuel tanks. Okay, nice, we got the W. Uh, what is Jen and I supposed to play? Huh? Second worst DRX IMO, third, maybe. If you have everything, then yes. I mean, we've been doing pretty good in this tank though. I mean, we've pretty consistently pulled out 4K damage, close to 4K damage games. You know, we had a couple mid games here and there but i think for the most part we've done a good job i kind of wish i just had not been slightly trolled against that batch at last game because that would have been a nice game to win win there but oh well nothing i can do about that <laughs> other than get better i suppose um the thing about the wz light in my from my experience with this tank is it's not necessarily the best on movement shooter but it does have the ability to aim its shots in really quickly, and its dispersion is pretty good once aimed in. Uh, so you do have to take a little bit of a moment to aim in your shots with this tank to make it work. Unlike a T1 at LT or, or even a Batch at, which basically has better gun handling than this thing, which I'm not sure how that happens, but uh, there it is. And uh, oh boy, that's an STB1. So let's not take the frontal engagement with an STB1 here. That's just not a very smart play. We'll back up a bit here. And welcome to the five degrees of gun depression club. Let's put a heat shot into this Karo here and pull back again. We're going to just kind of keep our low profile for now. Fortunately for us, the Karo has basically just dunked on himself. Let's put a hatch onto the STB. So this is what I mean. Once it's aimed in, its dispersion actually is very solid. All right. All right. All right. Quick shot into this dude. There we go. 370 there. Um, I'm sure the grill has pushed up. So that's cool for me. And let's see if we can get a shot into this WZ light tank here. There we go. 370 again. And he's also getting destroyed by the Minerato. So that's a W in the chat. All right. What's not a W is Mr. T1 10 E3 here. That's about to nuke me if I'm not fast enough on the rotation. There we go. All right. So let's rotate out a little bit from this engagement. We'll use the water as a meat shield from the STB, which actually worked very perfectly. Uh, and see if we can start rotating out for a bit of crossfire action. Or that's, that's kind of the plan here. Some crossfire action. I'll have a bit of crossfire over on this right hand side. WZ light is unfortunately keeping me lit, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, let's see. I don't think the E3 is going to poke just yet. Nice. Our heavy tanks are doing a pretty solid job here with their counter push. And I think I can even start blinking a little bit behind these guys. Now, I don't want to fully commit because there's still a bat chat. That's one thing you always have to be careful about, especially when you're in a tank like this, is there's always the option that, you know, a tank like a bat chat will just push into you, right? And they'll just rotate out to try and kill you. Like, that is very much an option that could happen in a lot of these games. So you always got to be a little bit conscious of those little of those little rat chats. And, okay, this dude's just sitting here fully loaded, shooting at nothing. Okay, I, I thought the the, uh, the yo would be on reload given his his uh, 
positioning. <laughs> All right, quick shot to the else turret. There we go. You see, once you aim it in, man, once you aim it in, this gun works like an absolute charm. Batchat, I believe, is now on a full reload, and the grill has just fired. Let's see if he has a spall. If he doesn't have a spall, maybe we can max roll him here. Oh, 563 max roll. That is huge. Oh, that is so satisfying. That is so beyond satisfying. All right. There we go. He gets taken out. Batchat's yellowing in now. Come on, Mr. Bash shot the yawn. Pull back a little bit more. Thank you. Oh, he fluffed his last shot, too, so it is a GG. Nice. And we did 38, just about 3,800 damage that game, right? Didn't overcommit. We kind of went for the early shots. Once the, once that front line seemed a little bit sus, we pulled back a little bit. We figured out where their TDs were and we were able to just kind of play around the sides. If I had YOLO'd, yes, I probably could have gotten even more damage that game. But my priority was just not to throw my tank away. And of course, you know, I could have flanked all the way around that grill and just farmed them. But that does put me at risk of having the full HP bat chat at the time. Just YOLOing back and clipping me and killing me with the grill. And so that's why I didn't make that specific play. I know a lot of people may have thought of that particular play. But I wasn't going to overextend. Unless I was 100% sure it was like 80% mm, sure it would be safe. <laughs> Alright, please buff TVP. You nerfed that tank to the ground. Hey yo, ain't no way you're telling Wargaming to buff the rat TVP. Be gone with these uh, trash, trash balancing ideas. The TVP is perfectly balanced as is. It does not need to get changed. <laughs> if anything, the bat chat got over buffed and it just needs to, I think if they remove the interclip consumable, it's cool. I just don't think it needs the interclip consumable when it has like a 2.8 base interclip anyways. Not to mention like insane mobility and whatnot. Anyways, I was looking around, so I missed my opportunity for an early shot. Anyways, this is a cool little early spot position you can take sometimes. Um, sometimes being the case. Uh, but you know what? This T T22 seems to have overextended just a wee bit here. So let's put a quick shell into the side of his tank. Nice. And I'm actually going to hop on the cap as it looks like none of their teammates are here. Now you guys know me. I'm always molding about going seaside. I'm always saying seaside's garbage. And you know, most of the time I agree. But if your whole team goes seaside, what options do you have? All right, the 50B didn't get spotted crossing, so I'm going to hope that their team doesn't really have anything over there. Oh, this gun is so good. Genuinely, this gun is, is underrated, in my humblest opinions. All right, so we got the CS here. CS ricocheting off of me with his... Oh, his 340 alpha. It's so cute. Okay, he has 20 less alpha damage than me. Um, anyways, I think we should be okay to make this counter rotation back. Yes, we certainly are. At least for now. Ooh, is that an AFK I see? It is, certainly is. Okay, I don't think I'm farming that AFK. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I could shoot heat through the tent, so I didn't go for it. All right. Oh, we made the right place so far. Let's wait for the 183 to fire. 183 just fired his gun here. Put a quick shot towards this M103 here. Unfortunately, missing that one. Not the end of the world. We're going to focus the 183 out, though. There we go. Pick up a nice clear kill on him. And we also have this M103. I really don't care if the 752 starts shooting at me. So let's pull another shot into this man. 752 fluffing his shot even. Uh, that M103 should be dead. So let's just focus on the 752 now. And that's, that's, that's just a, that's a JJ. Not a farm game. That's for sure. I didn't get the farm on the, on the AFK Hori. So that sucks. <laughs> All right. Well, good game. <laughs> what a team. What are you studying in school? And what, what do you want to do with that? Thank you, uh, Jack Black, 1998 for the $5 donation. Do you appreciate that? I actually graduated from university with a degree in business business administration concentrated in business analytics gosh no one on their team did a thousand damage that's sad uh and i'm currently looking for work now the job market here is not the sauciest so i'm just gonna keep work uh keep applying until i do find something hopefully <laughs> eventually i'll probably move in towards more like project management stuff um private bro. No, private, private. Hey, Fanis, please revisit Maz. it's a really important tank in the meta so if you give me a thousand dollars button maybe i'll consider the mouse <laughs> I want it in hard cash, no crypto. <laughs> nice steamroll, LOL. Yeah, that was such a steamroll, I didn't even farm. All right, I'm going to go from a typical spotting position. You can't really work the WZ in the standard bush, so you're going to have to poke up on this left ridge if you do want to spot on this end of the map. Um, basically, you just pull up to this ridge very quickly, get an early idea of what their team is doing, put a shot in and pull back. You know, it's easy as that. All right, so we got some early info on some of their players already, and what the heck is the Sheridan doing? And why is he allowed to get away with that? Oh my gosh, the Sheridan, such a rat piggy. If we all, all, all that needed to happen was for us to have a couple TDs back there, and that dude would have lost all of his hit points. 
but uh, welcome to my take as 560 alpha damage simulator. <laughs> All right, we know where both their TDs are at least, so that's the good news. My concern is, okay, we have 183 covering my lower side, so I'm not actually all that concerned, never mind. All right, 752 is still gonna be kind of a piggy to deal with though. All right, quick shot onto this dude, just pull back. There we go, we we'll get the ricochet there. Nice, that was even an APCR shell there. Um, this dude is kind of caught in the open. There's another heat shell into him. Nice. I'm just working this ridge line, and I know I could be flanking around right now, but I don't really feel that the the need to flank around just yet. Although this 140 could be a bit of an issue soon. So let's put a quick shot onto the 140 here. Can make sure no one's pushing around from above me. No one is pushing from above me. That's huge. Uh, but the problem is still going to be, yeah, we're going to be getting flanked here pretty soon. And that has all kinds of consequences. Okay, so here's what we're going to have to do here. I'm gonna have to help our M46 Patton kill this 140. There isn't really much of a choice for me here. The 140, the Patton's gonna get taken down, but he's going to bring the 140's HP down just a bit. To pretty much two shot territory for me, which he did. Nice. 140 is pretty clueless as to what's happening here. So let's pick up a clear on him. 309 on the kill shot. That is not cool in the slightest. This dude's just playing on auto aim though. I should have him on reload. Nope, nope, because that tank gets 3,800 DPM. I do not have him on reload. But it was a necessary kill. Uh, if RNG had not decided to screw me on that kill shot there, then maybe I would still have an extra 300 HP, which would be kind of nice right now. Put a quick shot into this Yag, 450 max roll. All right, so at least we got the Yag hit there. I'm gonna have to pull back into safety for now. Um, we do have a tank flanking these fills, which is huge for us. So we push onto this lower plate. Okay, he can't spot me from that distance, so that's also huge. We're gonna have to see if we can start dealing with this Yeager here. The Yag is just holding safely in this corner. All right, quick shot into the Yag. Nice, we make him a one shot. That's huge. And let's see if we can pick up a quick and easy clear onto Mr. Jaeger Roo here. Aim for that lower plate. Huge. And we also have an E100 pulling around this corner as well. Let's use this bush as camouflage. Track shot. 26, 279 with an AP shell. Okay. Anyways, I need to help our version four out here. So let's YOLO in because right now our WZ is creating a bit of a diversion on the flank here. And I want to capitalize on that. Okay. Okay, that's problematic. The 100 is no longer distracted. Max roll onto this dude. Version 4, version 4. Please put a shell into Mr. 100 here. Track him, maybe. Oh, we do not get the track shot. I believe in you, version 4. I do not believe in you, version 4. And this dude's just dead. Yeah, it's Jover. It's Jover. I did what I could, but it's Jover. <laughs> version 4, man. You really had to counter push the 100 sooner there. Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have helped him. Maybe I should have just gone and cleared out the other dude there. I don't know why the version 4 didn't just pull back and shoot the 100 before he shot me. We might have had a chance. 4,000 damage dealt. Obviously, one's going to win with a team like this. Um, this time, it was my turn to have the pretty terrible 60% win rate. 63% win rate. Both playing tier 10 heavy tanks, both did sub 1800 damage. Man, that is bad. That is bad. <laughs> Dang, 1k, you should be on your account and cooking in it. <laughs> One of the reasons I prefer APCR sometimes is because you can go through objects compared to heat. Yeah, I mean, APCR in that regard is cool, but premium AP is still the best ammo type in the game. <laughs> Rate this tank for grind. Bad, average, good. By the way, this easy. The, this is easy to ace. Average like 3.6, 3.7k uh, damage ace. Yeah, it's really easy to ace. Grind's pretty good, by the way, on this vehicle. I actually do enjoy... I, I enjoyed the grind on this tank. I mean, I didn't really grind it all the way. The tier 9 is pretty solid. The tier 8 is pretty solid. Um, and they're not the worst. They play very similar to the tier 10. You know, they're not the greatest light tanks in tier uh, tier 8 or 9, but they do their job sufficiently enough. And so I think they're decent grinds. You know, there's no like really terrible grinds in this tech tree as far as I remember. All right. Oh gosh, double Sheridans, man. I cannot do peeking on the hill to, to save my life in that context. That's a that's a bit of a rip. Let's climb this hill a little bit. Uh, rip, this tank is too too long to climb the hill, unfortunately. Let's see if I can spot the outside up a little bit, at least. So far, nothing spotted and no one on A. That's very interesting indeed. Having no one on A means there is a decent chance that their whole team has gone seaside. Uh, but never mind, they were just very slow to move on to A. That's cool by me. All right, oh, no, nah, never mind. There's the 100. So both Sheridans and Grills are over here. The Sheridans are just dunking on my allies at the moment. Mr. Sheridan might spot over the top. I gotta cover our 402 here. I think it's just the three of us, basically. All right, quick shot into this Sheridan here. Hit him. 422. Oh my, that was not what I wanted you to do there, buddy. 
All right, well, this is going to be quite an interesting experience, to say the least. Now, I can see which way they are rotating around to shoot at me. So we're going to have to do the big brain plays and move along the hill sideways to try and get unspotted. And then we're going to have to try and move all the way into the town, the long and safe route. Now, I should be unspotted by now. Yep, we are still unspotted. So let's not take the shot till we're out of town. There we go. We're all the way in the town, I mean. And let's push across for the C100 here. T100 still has not noticed me. Quick shot into him. There we go. There's the T1 to any three as well. But at least I can start keeping this E100 at bay for the time being. So quick shot into him there. My team is currently losing the town big time. So that's not cool, I guess. And we are definitely going to get nuked by Mr. E100 here. We're not careful. Or Mr. Fosh. My teammates are just dead. All of them are dead. This is so uncool. My whole team is just dead at this point. Yeah, this is a very dead experienced team. Alrighty, Mr. E100, just track you again there, good sir. And even if we take a little bit of damage from him, better than taking 670 damage. And let's back up for Mr. Fosh if we can. And you know what? We're just gonna have to accept her taking a shot or two from Mr. Fosh here. There we go. Let's go for the track shot before we can shoot another shell into me. And we're gonna farm up some damage here. Maybe. Quick clear onto this dude here. The grill's on me now. That's a bit unfortunate here. And that's where we die. I think I did my job. I think I very much did my job here. There's nothing I could do in that scenario. Not only did my two dudes on the hill just YOLO into C and die very quickly, they, my, my team in town did even worse. They couldn't kill the E3 and the L. Oh man, I uh, did what I could there. Probably did 4K plus or 3.78. So I did fine. We did find damage. All the rotations were logical there. That was how you should play the tank in that scenario. The problem was uh, my two meds basically doing one shot a piece and dying. This is why you don't overextend on a group of Sheridans that can tap you for 560 each time you poke on them. Although it's kind of unacceptable that you guys only hit one shot each. And my team went down. The ultimate supremacy experience. I am not a fan of supremacy on Middleburg. <laughs> you either have to try and cap win or you have to try and clear hill fast enough. And if you don't achieve both, it's such so bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Fanis has forgotten me. Yes, I forgot you. Who are you, stranger? Be gone. Almost 100 likes. Let's go, guys. Yeah, no, you can see why the win rate's low on this tank. Like, I understand the win rate being pretty low. On my account, I think I'm averaging, like, 73% in it, though. So, for the most part, it is, um, it is still very winnable. But, obviously, this tank's a lot more team-dependent than, than most tier 10s in the game, I would say. And that does that does cause quite a few complications. Like, we probably have... Yeah, that was just a bad pre-shot. We probably are averaging around 3.8 to 4k in this tank view today. Somewhere around there is my guess. I'm um, given how the first, you know, hour of gameplay has gone. And so, really, the only thing that is holding me back right now is the fact that my heavies keep doing bottom damage and... That's just kind of uh, nothing that I can really help with there. All right. Let's see. Let's see what the IS-7 is up to. There's Mr. IS-7. Let's aim the heat shell in. This is why I run calibrated, by the way. And I would highly recommend that everyone else runs calibrated, too. Having that 330 heat pen is very, very nice in a lot of scenarios. It looks like my meds are, unfortunately, going to get themselves yeeted here by the uh, the enemy team. Oh, no. Their 183 just got full health. Maybe not so bad. All right. Let's see what Mr. IS-7 is up to. Mr. IS-7 didn't cross, right? He totally crossed. What the heck? That is weird. All right, so we're just going to keep farming out this corner, best of my ability. Here's where Rammer would be nice, because I would have the DPM to actually shoot this guy more than once. And something shot me from their spawn. It was a Conqueror. Okay, but we did get a couple shots in there. And we got some nice assist damage on the I-7, I believe. All right, Mr. I-7 still not thinking very brightly. 450 max roll. Man, I love the Alpha on this tank. The Alpha on this tank truly is sublime. All right, and this dude's not going to com fully commit just yet. And there's a sharp door. Quick shot to him there. Nice. Pull back. I just love this tank's gun so much. It is a really, really nice gun. And with one more degree of gun depression, this tank would be perfect. <laughs> one, maybe two degrees more of gun depression, and it would be perfect. Now the shot into this E3 here. Gun's still doing its job. Uh, the problem would be that this Conqueror here is just rotating up for free. It's put a track shot into him. Oh, he gets nuked thanks to the track shot. Huge, 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 huge. Conqueror maybe overextending a little bit here. Let's put another shot into his drive wheel. Unfortunately, messing that one up. But the Conqueror did put himself into a pretty bad scenario here. We should be able to clear him in just a moment's time with a maybe a heat shell to the turret root here. Oh, wow, that ricocheted off his hatch. Not the highest damage game, but I'll take the W any day, all day, every day. There's Mr. Char. Hello, Mr. Char. How do you do, Baus? 
Can't wait to get nuked from an E3 the moment I peek this. Never mind, Mr. E3 is not, not binking right now. <laughs> Mr. E3 is not big braining right now. There we go. 1400 assist damage. We should be able to pick up a kill on this high 7 here as well. Please don't kill my loader, man. That's just rude. And a quick clear on him. 3.2k. Eh, farm. Correct gameplay decisions there. Not over committing. Not getting myself killed. Doing the, uh, doing the casual holding. We managed to get a pretty good amount of assists from the track shots, both on the Conqueror and the I-7, so that's why that was an ace, because apparently no one plays this tank anymore. I, I see how it is. Uh, Ursa at 132. 131 is so good. Yeah, WZ 131's peak. <laughs> hey, drills. Man, you break my heart. <laughs> Sorry. Cali for the way. It's not kind of like a Leo gun put on a light. Should have 7 degrees like the Type 62, though. I do agree. I've been saying at least minimally working. Please give this tank 6 degrees of gun penetration. Please. 6 degrees, and it will just be a little bit less painful to work on maps. Give it 7, and it will actually be flexible and, and a very good tier 10 light. I think right now, it's just a little too restricted. It has a really good gun that you utilize more the alpha than the dpm i mean his dpm is good but it, it really does hit quite hard the amount of like 370 plus damage rolls you get in this vehicle is very satisfying and you know, that's just like you know, it's kind of the same alpha as a 50b so it's kind of nice in that regard i mean i know it's 20 less but you get a lot of rolls that are pretty high all right there's a tvp 343 damage into him there nice um tvp making some very big brain aggressive gameplay maneuvers here um, I'm not sure how that's going to go for Mr. TVP. So let's put a quick shot to him. Nice. 399. There we go. Good 400 damage roll there. Looks like my teammates are cooking over here. I respect the chefs in the kitchen. Oh my goodness. 383. But he caught me on fire. My dispersion just vanished after that. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Quick shot to this dude again. 372. I mean, look at that alpha, man. I love 360 alpha damage. You wouldn't think it would make that much of a difference versus 300 and... 50, but it does. It really does. Okay. Type, you have full HP. Just go. Get full HP. Buddy. Oh my gosh. The type had full HP and he would not go onto Mr. E3 here. I feel... I feel sad for him. Alrighty. Heat shell. There we go. Calibrated heat doing his job again. Good stuff. Mr. WZ has just fired his gun here. Let's see if we can aim for that saucy lower plate. Again. Nice. We're already at 2,000 damage dealt so far this battle. Uh, the only kind of major concern right now would be the spawn for me and my allies is getting kind of griefed so let's see quick shot into this dude there we go 346 i should be safe from the e3 and i'll just have to keep an eye out on what that wz is up to i'm gonna see if i can keep covering my team and spawn there we go 30b can't quite shoot the 30b can't quite shoot the vickers let's see how it is maybe one of you will pull forward here enough for me to shoot at you i hit a rock let's go that is peak gameplay right there all right let's see oh ho ho mr m103 might be overextending a little bit here Whoa, Mr. Vickers. Wasn't expecting you to push him quite so frivolously. Ah, he's not he's not committing. Alright, let's see. I'll probably counter push soon to get that farm in. I just don't want to put myself in a scenario where the 30B is also kind of farming me. Because that'd be uncool. Um, so let's see what we can do about it. I can't spot the M103. He is back there though. Yeah, he's safe. Okay. Well, let's do our best not to get isolated by the 30B and Vickers here. And see if we can start firing out the Mr. M103 at least. There we go. M103 sides. Stuff. Vickers is kind of pushing up on me a little bit here. And same with the 30B. That's kind of what I anticipated though. So let's wait for the YOLO. What? Say what? RNG? What was that? Alright. Well, we definitely can't HE that. Oh, well, this dude's just giving me free damage. <laughs> Maybe I should have just counter YOLO'd in on him harder. Yo, my man's giving me that free damage. Let me track you in place, good sir. And it is time to count the YOLO Z30B. Yay. Okay. Maybe I'll get 4... Oh, no. I'm not getting 4K. He's going to run for the 30... From the TVP. And then get farmed by everyone else. Oh, wait. Maybe. Ram. Ugh! Yes. 130. That should give me the 4K. <gasps> and a kill. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I played it kind of passively end game there. I kind of just didn't want the 30B and Vickers both to yellow me and kill me. That that just wouldn't have been a pleasant experience. So yeah, I know I just kind of sat there, but I wanted to be close enough to them where I could last minute farm them. You see, it's all about that casual big brain positioning. <laughs> E4 did a good job. GG did. Um, BZ did zero. Type did a thousand. So my heavy's doing bottom damage again, but at least this time my allies were able to cook up. <clears throat> Charfetur is S tier plus tank. That's pretty good. I, I haven't really played it much since I got the Adaptive Concealment. That might have actually been kind of a game changer for it, though. 
How deleted is your stream fatness? Oh, deleted. Deleted? How deleted is my stream, guys? <laughs> How delayed? I don't know. Whatever YouTube determines it to be, because I'm just sending the packets over, and sometimes there's more lag, and sometimes there's less. I don't have a way of really measuring. I mean, I could try and figure it out, but it's just a waste of time for me. Plus, I don't want stream snipers. That's the only reason someone would ask that. <laughs> I smell stream snipers in the air. Oh, wow. Ain't that peculiar. Ain't that just the most peculiar? Interesting. Okay. At least we found out where their patent is. Maybe. Uh, of course. There's a 57 there. What? Oh, hello, Mr. Yag Tiger. Track shot. Huge. He can't spot me from there, I think. That's, that's the big part. He can't spot me from back there. Shoot heat just in case. Come on. Once, once that tree gets knocked down, he's not going to be able to... He should get spotted by me. Hmm. Not quite. Okay, I see how it is. Alrighty. Let's cap C at least. I'll give the enemy team some cap cap pressure. Nice. And then we're gonna hug this rock so I hopefully don't get spotted. And I should have crossfires. Is there Yagtiger still around here? Yagtiger must have pushed back out of my spotting range. Not the worst play per se. I'm kinda hesitant to overextend here because I feel like there's still some unspotted vehicles that could be problematic for me. Like Mr. E5 here, for instance. Who doesn't even spot me? Well, he got full health. Good lord. Bless his soul. Alright. Not much I can do about Mr. 50B. Mr. Yagtiger is still unspotted. Mr. TI2 is down low. Looks like our object is going to counter push on him though. So let's utilize that. Let's take advantage of that moment. He's going to drop down low is my guess. Right? It's the only play that's left for him at this point. Is to drop down onto me. 415 damage. Nice. And I probably will take a shot from this dude. Never mind. Object's got to clear. Good clear, Mr. Object. Good clear. Now it's time to poke a Yag Tiger and see how that goes for me. Yay! It doesn't go well. <laughs> well, at least I found my shot. That's dirty GG. Welcome to this rat map, dude. Being back into tier 10. We're just back in the game in general. This is what we call peak map design here. Track shot. Nice. Come on, give me one more shot on you, buddy. If not, I'll just farm your Min Minerato friend over here. 380 onto him there. Nice. Ooh, we we got ourselves some Minerato over here. And free damage if I've ever seen it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Give me one more shot, please. Good, sir. Thank you. 3.6k farmed. Not bad. I'm just kind of casually played that side. They're paying kind of through. If they're paying to go med side, they might not have been swept so hard. I think they're paying going med side and guaranteeing that the that we would have seaside control kind of screwed their team a bit. Although to be fair, it looked like their team was still losing heavy side. Good job to Mr. VK90 there. Good job to him. And uh, I guess yeah, GG to the rest of my team for the most part. Um, that way Japanese light as that's not even in PC. We still have five Russian lines, one German. Uh, I mean, Blitz has tanks that were never brought to PC and Blitz brought the whole re and the M6 and 5 Yoda to the game before it was introduced to what PC. So to be fair, just because it's not in what PC doesn't mean we're not going to get a tank. <laughs> Wargaming loves inventing tanks. They, they very easily could make a Japanese light tank if they wish. Um, first thing, I think you have to be able to play Russian meds and lights first. Uh, if you can play an object 140 correct, and I don't mean just YOLOing and taking advantage of the DPM, but knowing when, where, and how to properly position it, then you probably won't have too many problems in the WZ-132-1. It does have that kind of similar no gun depression, no armor, but really good gun play style. Although, the 140's kind of fail safe is the fact that, um, it gets, it gets 3,800 damage per minute. Okay, did we spot? We did not get spotted. I don't know if they have anyone back there then. It would appear not. Not yet at least. Let's see if we spot anyone from here. Yeah, so their team's not here. Interesting. Okay. Um, my team is also completely on this side of the map. Not sure how I feel about that, but let's try and make the best of it. All right. Although if you can play Type 62 pretty well, I think you'll 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 agree with this tank's playstyle a lot. Not to say they're one for one, but it's pretty good. Oh, this gun. <laughs> Ah, it really does hit them shots, doesn't it? Hits them. It won't pen them all, but it does hit them. All right, so now we got a decent feeling for what their team is doing here. My only concern right now is that it's going to be really hard to kill the WZ if he is just chilling the back of their spawn. And he's going to also be able to spot me if I'm not careful. Um, 
Okay, he won't be able to spot me now, but I should have shots on Mr. Gorilla 15 from back here. Let's see if Mr. Gorilla 15 has a spall liner. Never mind. Let's see. Uh, let's see how much I can fluff that shot. This is a more accurate way of describing it. So WZ is running away. So let's put a shot on the him as well. 410. Nice. That's huge. All right. I think yeah. I think we're. I think we're pretty okay here to just kind of push in over on the side of the map. Yeah, we're pretty okay to push in over here. We are spotted, proxied by the VK here, but the VK is just in a hopelessly bad scenario. He's not going to be alive for much longer anyways. Nice. Now we have the Gorilla 15 here. Let's see if he has a spall liner. Does not. I'm not sure how that shot didn't pen, but he doesn't have a spall liner. That's good to know. WZ firing there. Looks like we have a standard B here. Let's put a quick shot onto him. Nice little max roll there. Um, and I'm going to have to help our 57 make a counter push on this side probably. Yeah, let's clear out this end. This clearing out this end is going to be huge for me and my allies here. Nice, just be able to pick up a clear on this dude. WZ just fired his gun. I heard him shoot just now, so let's take advantage of that. Let's put a quick shot to him. Nice. And I think we are good to win this game for the most part. Let's just get the cap first. Whee! Well, hello, Mr. ISA. Oh, ah, he stopped in the open. Why? Why would you stop in the open, blood? Why would you do that? Why would you stop at the open? Oh, yes, he missed me. <laughs> 350. Nice. All right, time to make that counter push, guys. Time to make that counter push while our CC is creating a lovely little diversion here. Alrighty. Let's focus the VK first because he's the more dangerous tank, in my opinion, other than this IS-8. But that IS-8 isn't really doing all, all that much right now, so not quite as worried about him as some of the other vehicles in this battle. Ah. Oh, hello, Mr. Vickers. Come here. Oh, this is farm. This is free farm. Hello. Oh. Oh, dear. Patton, you, I thought you had to the kill there, bro. Okay, 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 okay. Well, you do have the kill. Let's go. My mans. My mans. Okay, 450. Nice. Ugh. Time to kill this fool as well. Thank you. All right, Standard B. Oh, hello, Mr. Standard B. Let me uh, bait you into thinking you can poke that. Oh, the patent's going to get the kill. And you know what? He deserves it since I didn't kill the VK fast enough there. He deserves it. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. We played that okay. <clears throat> Knowing when to push is important. I was keeping an eye on how that game was unfolding and just seeing where their meds and their, you know, the other tanks were dropping down into the valley to clear whoever we had on A. And it was at that moment that I realized, okay, we really do have to push and kill this WZ and grill and then rotate around to the middle. So always just pay attention to how those games are unfolding to make sure that you don't get yourself stuck in a bad scenario, hopefully. Um, and just be willing to do that little rotation around and don't be afraid to push in this tank as long as you have adequate support and are not like the frontliner in that push. Uh, well, look at the live chat on stream. What are we, millionaires? <laughs> what do you mean millionaires? <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can do for this battle. It's good, but you need good game sense. 100%. 100%. I, I've really enjoyed this tank. I think I, I didn't really like the tank when it was first introduced because you had to poke so much to deal damage. And so it was only getting a 100% like flank scenario and you would get like those really low rolls all the time. Um, this variation, you poke a little bit less to deal that damage and you still have enough DPM to be a nuisance to heavy tanks and stuff like that. You, you just can't quite out DPM anything unless it's like a, a, um, a low DPM tier 9 med or something like that. But that's fine, right? That's fine, because this tank's not really meant to brawl slash, like, DPM fight other vehicles. Oh my goodness, I got spooked by the E50. I was going to push up on the KPZ here, but uh, you know what? Since I don't trust in our M60's ability to cover that flank, and my allies are getting griefed in the middle here, maybe I should do a little bit of backwards rotations. Yes, I think that is going to be the play here. KPZ is pushing up pretty aggressively. So, yo, is he going to turn around? I can't tell if he's going to turn around or not. Oh, what is our... If our, if our M60 had just come out and helped me right away, we would maybe have this E50M, like, dead already. But I'm not going to take a brawl with an E50M. But I will take it if I have some support, which I do. Another shot to this dude. Nice. The 57's clipping him out as well. So we managed to bait him into the open, which is why I was just kind of sitting back there, moving back and forward, trying to get him to overextend a little bit. And that worked in my favor. Um, what did not work in my favor, however, was my team. Uh, they're all dead. 
So that, that's kind of a rip. That is kind of a massive rip, actually. Okay, got a good shot to the 183 there. 183 in theory should not be able to spot me. Yeah, he does not. So how are we going to play this out now? This B-side lane is probably toasty, as can be. French toast, as a matter of fact. Although, wait, this dude just fired. This dude just fired. Maybe we can pull this off. First, we gotta kill the KPZ. We gotta bait the TI2 as well, if, if possible. If possible. If not, then let's pick up a kill on the Yo, for starts. Okay. And then I will have to counter push this TI2 here. Oh, no, that's not good. That is very much not good. Wow. That timing couldn't have been worse for me. That timing could not have been worse. Do I still have a Conway for support? I do not have any support of any kind. So this is a, this is a GG for me, good sirs. At least I picked up a kill. <laughs> At least I picked up a kill here. Maybe he low rolls me, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, bro, I was the only player of my team to pick up a single kill that game. What is our full HPM 60 been doing this whole time? We should have rotated back to our spawn. Oh my goodness. Well, this team was just egregious. Just egregious. I don't know why the Conway just sat there instead of rotating around to help me on the ti 2 e one I came in there specifically to try and keep him in the game. And then this M60 was probably the worst defender this game. This dude just spent all game hiding. I don't know why he didn't push on the E50M with me or why he didn't kind of rotate back and deal the damage. But, uh, oh my, oh my, Taros Arar Araris. <laughs> E4 actually bounced on him. <laughs> Brother is cooking. He's cooking himself. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Well, that was kind of a rip. Sepultory reload. Jeez. I know, Dragon. The reload's kind of long. It's DPM isn't the highest. But honestly, DPM is probably one of the fewer issues that I have with this tank. It really is just it's... Oh gosh. Did I actually do three shots of damage that game? Wait. I did 900 damage, but I picked up four kills. Bro. I was just picking up all the kills. <laughs> Well, then again, I can't say anything. I did jack that game. Okay, I did absolutely nothing. Yeah, I, I take responsibility for that. Although, to be fair... Wait, what did I not pen? I picked up a kill on the KPZ. I'm pretty sure I penned the E50M and killed him. And then I killed the 50B. Oh, man, I was just picking up kills that game, wasn't I? I penned the 183 once. Wow, that was bad. Uh, I mean, my team wasn't great, but I definitely did not play that great either. So, yeah, well... <laughs> I mean, that was just one of those scenarios that kind of sucked because I was going for a win instead of trying to farm damage. So, my, like, my goal that game was picking up kills, clearing out, like, a flank and stuff like that. That's why I rotated back and everything the way I did. But it kind of ended up screwing all the damage I could do that battle. Uh, if, if I just sat in the middle, like, our M60, it just, like, farmed the 183 and farmed everyone else when they were YOLOing through mid, I probably would have done 3,000 plus damage there. Dude, did you really have to cut in like that? My name, surname. Wow, that is the most creative. That is the most creative username I've ever seen. My name underscore surname. That's 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 a real cool name, dude. All right, let's see what we're gonna do here. You know, I don't even like this side of the map on the hill. It's harder to hold this side of hill. Let's see if we can. Wait, my team's not even spotting up seaside. Well, that is a huge problem that we face here then. All right, let's get a quick shot onto this man's at least. Well, 50 be taking some damage. That's huge. 50 be taking maybe not just some damage, but a lot of damage. But well, that is also huge. All right, it's late game. Kind of whack to be making this play late game, but I'm doing it. Cause why not? Of course, the 57 is just spawn sniping, dude. There we go. Nice kill there. Love that alpha damage. This 57 is still sitting here, and I should be unspotted now. It's been seven seconds. Not quite able to hit that one. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Let's wait till we're unspotted for a moment here. And seven seconds to press. I'm unspotted. Nice. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, let's see if we can spot up any TDs in these back bushes at all. That's that's the real, that's the real question. That is the real question. All right, let's focus the WZ for starts. Or you know what? Let's focus the E3. Half shot. Now the problem is, okay, oh, well, I can, actually, I can back up quite a bit. Never mind. I was like, the problem is I won't be able to back up very much, but never mind. I can back up just fine. Shoot you three. 
Oh, no, we will not be able to back up just fine. I think that 183 is getting ready to make a saucy play on me. I can smell it in the air. <laughs> oh, this is the most rats. Oh my, what is this? What? In what sense does that make sense, 57? <laughs> In what world does that make sense is what I meant to say there? Bro, you cannot be that, that, that silly of a player, man. You just cannot be that silly of a player. Holy, oh my gosh. Here comes the next one. Here comes the next one. You just fired, strack him. My goodness, man. Now you're stuck in the open. What's, what's, what's the big brain plan now? <laughs> oh my goodness, the counter yolos are insane. What's, what's buddy, what's buddy cooking up here? What's buddy cooking up here? He's cooking up being tracked. That's what he's cooking up here. All right, 2.4k damage dealt. We should be able to pick up the player on this dude as well. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, guys. I really don't know what just happened. All that I know is I've been the biggest brain bait and I love making this play sometimes. All right. Is there a TD back there? Oh, there surely is. Yo, 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 is he doing it? He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh, he, oh, he did it. He done did it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm watching anymore, dude. I don't know what I'm watching anymore. Other than me just griefing tank destroyers in the 57 over on this side, this has been a pretty fun game. This has been a pretty, a pretty darn fun game, not gonna lie. All right, WZ, let's see what happens to you. Howdy, WZ. <laughs> what am I looking at here? Okay, I better not show my booty to him so he doesn't accidentally kill me here. There we go. Oh my goodness. Well, I played like an absolute Giga Chad there. 4.5k damage dealt. With the cover 5, the 113, the E6, and the E3, they just kept throwing their tanks away. Like, that's an absolute meme fest of a, of a scenario to be in. Alright, let's see. We're going to kill the Leo first, hopefully without taking a shot, because then that reduces the odds that the Sheridan will two-tap me. Alrighty, and boom. Nice. Five kills already. And you know what? Let's not get the Sheridan the early initial shot here. And then we're going to peek from this side a little bit. Okay, Sheridan's not here. Interesting. We do have Captain Vantage. That's the good news. I'm not really sure where the Sheridan would have gone. Uh, maybe he went seaside? Now, fortunately, the Sheridan doesn't have the best view range in, in the tier 10 now, so I can actually kind of outspot this fool. Oh, that's where he went, huh? 450 to the face, my dude. Aw, you had to catch me on fire. You know, that's just the rudest thing you could do in that scenario, my dude. That really is the rudest thing you could do in that scenario. Catching me on fire, man, that's just so not cool. Just so not cool. Now he's a one shot. Now we gotta test our reflexes. Alright, poke it, 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 poke it. Okay, he's not gonna poke it just yet. Let's see how it is. Gotta make sure I have enough gun depression to shoot at him. Ah, okay, there we go. He spotted me, but I spotted him too. Well, that's the good news. <laughs> six kills. Well, that's an easy ace. All right, so that's six kills and almost 6,000 damage dealt there. It's so shrimple. <laughs> I just think we cooking. We cooking tonight, boys. Oh my goodness. What a funny battle that was. 180,000 credits profit because we got the ace tanker, which is 100,000 credits. Uh, and it was the high caliber. The high caliber gives you another 150,000 credits. So 150,000 credits just from two medals alone. Um, plus another 30,000 profit without them. So I think we I think we cooked up pretty good pretty hard there guys I, I think we did a pretty good job Baiting their players out <laughs> Cracked fastest world of uh, world of yellow yellowers blitz. I love one uh, The world that everyone says YOLO basically six kills. Let's go. I know I could have had seven kills man Who did I not kill? Did I not kill the uh, I killed the WZ I killed the 183. I killed the... I Maybe I didn't kill the 57. I think that's where I failed to kill. That was the 57. That's sad. Where AK? Oh, man, dude. Getting AK damage in this tank, you have to be super, super, super lucky. It doesn't really have the DPM or the alpha to really pull that off all that easily. But, I mean, it's possible. 
far if had us played farming simulator work hard save smart yes sir yeah <laughs> you know how it is all right but i'm having fun in this tank like i've already been playing it for an hour and 15 minutes and it really doesn't feel that way this is definitely a tank that i hope to eventually improve my stats on on my main account because right now <laughs> they're only like 3570 percent um i did not do very well in this tank in test i'm gonna be honest with you without 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 snitching this tank was extremely bad in test like it was galore bad um and so i've been trying to fix my stats in it ever since and it has not gone well <laughs> i mean it has gone well i've been doing big brain big brain damage sessions the part that didn't go so well <laughs> the part that didn't go so well um we are definitely taking a shot from this leo here but i don't really mind because i'm gonna get into safety hello mr sheridan take one to the face for me oh my goodness what is that oh my Oh my gosh, they're all coming in from behind, ladies and gentlemen. This is not good. Okay, we're gonna have to set up the uh, the big brain gameplay here. Meanwhile, we have these four dudes sitting here, looking at two tanks, refusing to move. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Okay, 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 team. Team, just do not let the shield push in all the way. Or the E4, for that matter. Nice. Sheridan just fired. Let's focus the Sheridan out. He's a higher threat to me with his uh, mobility. I can outmaneuver an E4 still pretty easily. Sheridan, not so much. Fortunately for me, the Sheridan's reverse speed is pretty bad. Oh, but he's, he's, he's pulling forward to deal another shot damage to me. Well, that's, that's just fantastic, ain't it? Uh, but at least I can guarantee a kill on him here. This reminds me of Deja Vu from playing against that bat shot earlier. Okay. I'm going to let the 60 TP be the first one in. Yeah, that's right. Get him, buddy. Yeah, that's right. Get him. My mans, Mr. 60TP. Perfect. Thank you very much, 60TP. Do appreciate the support to the HRF damage fund. Alright, track shot. Huge. And it now rack damage. Okay. Let me made him waste a repair kit here. Hit it, Mr. 60TP. That, that a boy. That a boy. Another shot into the C4 here. TP, just don't block all my shots here. Don't block all my shots here. This dude will be dead by now. 60 TP. Oh my gosh. 60 TP. You really just blocked all my kill shots there. I don't know how I feel about that. That is very sad for me. My team is all dead. That's even more sad for me. Leo's here. Leo hits me. That's even that's even more big, big sad for me. So for trading shot for shot, we're kind of equal here. The problem is I'm a two shot. He's a three shot. I got to bait at least one shell here. Huge. Oh, I got him on reload too, I'm pretty sure. Huge. God, they, they still have a full HP E6. It's so Jover for me. It's so Jover. They have a full HP E6 and a concept on 600 HP. That is what we call being Jover. That is a Jover battle if I've ever seen one. Okay. Okay. Well, we did our best, ladies and gentlemen. We did do our best. The problem was my allies were not all that great. We managed to clear the three tanks behind us, but uh, that didn't make a difference in the end with how my teammates were playing it out. So it's kind of a rip. All right, let's see if we can spot anyone up from back here. E6 probably pushing across soon-ish. I would expect them to be pushing across pretty soon from here. Yeah, there he is. Stay unspotted. We gotta bait them into the open. We gotta bait them out. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta bait them out. <laughs> this is not working. This is so not working. I think the E6 is gonna pop through those bushes too. Are they both gonna cap? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so they are both capping. That's adorable. Well, welcome to the What Lots experience. Where on earth even are they capping? What the heck? They are capping in a very peculiar position, that's for sure. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this, but we're gonna have to position ourselves somewhere to kill the concept. But they're both gonna be yellowing for me now, aren't they? <laughs> we gotta pull them out a little bit from here. And gun depression, gun depression. Huge. Thank you. Problem is, which direction is the E6 gonna come from? 
I don't have the HP. He can two-shot me, and he's super mobile. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's that's just a GG, guys. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do in this scenario here. The E6 is just too mobile, and has it has way more DPM than me. Watch, he reloads so fast. Like heavies like this are just such a pain to deal with in this vehicle. I did fine. I think I did the maximum potential I could do there, covering the flank without overextending. Right, clearing out the E4, helping to clear out the E4 at least, the Sheridan, uh, the PTA. Somehow, my whole team lost to a BZ68. An IS-4 that did 1,400 damage, an E6 and a concept. <laughs> we had two T-110 E4s, a 113, a KPZ, and a Conqueror all on that front lane. Oh my gosh. Like, me and the 60 TP took care of the whole flank. Are you going to vote for president this year? Who knows? Probably. <laughs> Watch this clutch. Nah, there's nothing you can do against an E6. I could either play like ring around the rosies for the entire game and the odds of me actually doing anything is like very low. Um, or I could just try and get a couple shots in before the game was over. I went for the couple of shots option. One thing you'll know about me is unless I absolutely despise the player on the enemy team, I do not go for draws. I think draws are dumb and a stupid waste of everyone's time. So I'm always going to do my best to try and at least get a win in or at least try and get as much damage in before le basically just letting myself die if it's an unwinnable situation because I just think it's it's just bleh, bleh trying to go for draws. I don't understand why people think draws are fun. Like you literally gain nothing out of a draw. You get the same currency as a loss. So like it's not like you're going to make more XP because you drew a battle. Not. Nah. You're, you're literally still gonna <laughs> you're still gonna have the exact same xp exact same credits so my my viewpoint on the game is just never go for a draw if you can help it i only do it if i feel like um just being a rat which most of the time i actually don't so that's huge all right well this is gonna probably hurt but we're gonna send it anyways nice I think the bz is gonna extend all the way i don't think he will put a shot into the one to one here we made him a two a one shot that's huge for me and now he's in a position where I really can't deal with him. That's cool. What I can do instead is rotate around towards the safe end. I never really recommend rotating out along the wide end. Um, also along this side, we can cross fight out the enemy team a little bit better from here. So it's kind of huge. I just watch my rear though, because I don't really have anyone but an AMX 30 covering my rear. So I gotta watch out for that BZ in case he decides to big brain and push all the way up on the hill, which, which he's, he's kind of trying to do right now. Um, which he is very successfully doing right now. Okay, that's not good for me. Oh my gosh, that is really not good for me. Uh, team, did we really have to all abandon this hill here? Did we really have to all abandon this hill here? Oh my gosh, and there's a Sheridan climbing the hill now. Nah, 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 this team is something special. We really didn't have to abandon the hill, guys. That wasn't necessary. Anyways, I played that okay. Only took one shot, so I'm fine with that. Holy smokes, man. This uh, this team of mine is um, truly something special, isn't it? Like, they, they straight up just didn't do anything about the fact that they... <laughs> I guess the 30B didn't spot the whole hill crossing. That's that that's crazy to me. How did the 30 prototype not spot the hill crossing? Okay, BZ, I'm gonna need you to help us retake the hill, my dude. This is gonna be a bad game if we all sit here. Trust me. It's gonna be a very bad game if we all decide to sit here. Alrighty. I don't have much of a choice now. Dude just fired. Where's the BZ? BZ's around the other side of the hill now. Oh my gosh. If I take one shot from this dude, that's gonna suck. 704 should not be really paying attention to me. Here's my option. Here's my choice. Here's my one option. There we go. We managed to clear this dude out. Alrighty. We do have a WZ TD in our spawn here. The 704 is a one shot at least. So maybe we can clear the 704 out before it's too late. BZ, you got him? Easy. Don't block my shot. Thank you. Well, this team absolutely blew. They went in counter cap instead of defending the hill, and this is the result. This is why I say, idiots, don't go into counter cap. This is why you defend hill instead, and you let them overextend past in counter cap and nuke them with your TDs and spawn. I, I don't understand why everyone left the hill there. People literally didn't need to. Anyways, I'll do the best I can covering the back here. Really? Oh my gosh, dang. This tank's reload is just so long. You know the Conqueror, like, actually Loki out reloads me here, right? <laughs> That's the crazy part. 
Yeah, this is this game's just over. Dude, this conqueror is still looking for me. Well, that's a good game if I've ever seen one, guys. Do you see how do you see how good this game was here? You see what we call peak good gameplay? <sighs> when will this is literally like the first map that, uh, that every new player played on. It's been in the game for 10 years. And people still don't understand why you don't go and counter cap on this map. How? Oh my gosh. One shot. This team went to E5. Did one shot. 41% or 41% or KPZ one shot. 704 with sniping and spawn. BZ at least rotated back to hill. XM. XM just threw his tank away on the flank. Once again, why didn't we just hold the hill? Hold the hill and force them into you. It's so easy. <laughs> that was just a rip. Not a whole lot. I did the best I could there. I took the hill. I, I destroyed the one two one. Um, I tried holding, but <laughs> it's just like I got pushed up by a 704 BZ and I shared it on the hill. I was forced to drop off and like our 30 proto apparently just didn't spot any of that. And and all of my team was sitting in encounter cap, like not even killing what was there. Come on, guys. It's the oldest. It's like the oldest map in the game. And fundamentally, I mean, the old version was better. Fundamentally, it hasn't changed in terms of the, the tactics on that map. I don't I don't understand the obsession with encounter cap. It was just so much better to play on. Versus trying to peek all the way into the open with TD crossfires uh, from their spawn and stuff like that. Surprised I didn't him, but okay. Kind of thought that angle would have pent him. It will. Anyways, let's just spot up and see what we can do from here. For at least this game. Maybe we can cook up this battle. So far, I've spotted nothing or 113 and TIT are being extremely aggressive on this flank. It's kind of surprising to me. Don't think he's in that bush. Nope, he's not because I saw my shell hit the, the wall behind him. Um, and I think we are pretty set to make a bit of a counter push here. Although, nice. We do manage to bait the WZ back here a little bit. Hello. Oh, reactive. That's clutch, dude. I'll just track him. Yo, buddy is running reactive on his WZTD. Oh my goodness. He hits that too. My teammate's gonna like help me out against this dude or are they all just gonna keep saying, yeah, thank you. Yeah, WZ, insane. Insane use of your reactive armor there, buddy. I'm really proud of you, to be honest. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just think it's really funny when I see people running reactive on a WZTD, dude. It saved him nothing. It expired by time his game was actually like getting farmed out. That's the funny part. The reactive expired by time he actually started getting shot. <laughs> Gotta save yourself from taking that 360 damage, brother. But you should have saved the reactive for when he was actually gonna get like yeeted by everyone. AKA when he yoloed into the open to try and tunnel me, which was uh, all around just a terrible idea on his part. Well, we know how that went. Uh oh, TI2, you're blocking all my shots here, buddy. Okay, wow, well, thank you, TI2. Really appreciate that one, brother. Alrighty. Clutch. Nice. Anyways, we should win this one. Should have been the keyword. Oh my goodness. Yep, yep, of course, this yo is just sitting in the open. It's tunneling for me. Good job, good job, yo. Good job. Good job there, Mr. Yo. All right, TI2, you're full HP, blood. Let's go. Let's send it, brother. Let's send it, brother. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is definitely going to be waiting for me. I can smell it in the air. Or actually, he might not even wait. He might just full send it, to be honest. Looks like that's what he's going to do here. Alrighty, up uh, TI2, you're going to have to take this one for the team. Wow, can you tunnel me any harder, dude? Can you tunnel me any harder? Look at this doomed player. Peak doomed gameplay. Look at him. Oh, he's still going for me. <laughs> he, did, he didn't even shoot his last shell. Oh my gosh. That is peak. That is peak gameplay there if I've ever seen it. My goodness. Buddy, that is what we call throwing away all of your 900 plus damage farm you could have had there. You could have gotten like a full magazine off too if you just fired your magazine there. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. 
<laughs> I didn't farm, but hey, I basically baited two tanks into the worst positions possible. I'll take it. The WZ and the Yo was just kind of threw their tanks into Narnia. If the Yo had like waited, he could have quit. Here's the crazy part. Um, I forget which one of our heavies yellowed. Okay, the 113. So the 113. Wow, she had two farms. Okay. Um, our 113 YOLOs into their 752. Uh, yeah, 752 and 60 TP. Okay. And that dude manages to kill one of those tanks and bring the other one down to a one shot, which I killed the, you know, I killed the 60 TP in the end. If the Yo had just like drawn his attention over and killed our 113, that then the 752 probably still would have had a decent amount of HP. The 60 TP still would have been alive. He would have been alive. And that game could have been way harder to win. But nah, but he just, but he just full sends it. He has no other desire in the world but to kill the 1WZ light tank that is not even really shooting at him. <laughs> How's your aim so precise? A skill issue is how. My own skill issue. Okay, how am I going to play this? Yeah, I don't really have team support here. So, we're not going to go med side. That's probably the right play to make here. Um, I will take an early blind fire. That might have gone in, to be honest. That's pretty accurate. We do get spotted. So, there was someone there. There was someone there. Okay. We're reloaded now, so we should be unspotted at the moment. Okay. Another shot in. Looks like my team is not headed this way, so I am just going to rotate out. I don't want to get trapped in our spawn. Getting trapped in our spawn would just be a very unpleasant experience. You know, <laughs> when he does 2k damage and horrible Chinese light. Hey, yo. <laughs> Thank you, Naughty, for the $80 donation. Really do appreciate it. And you know what? I've, for, for the most part, I've been doing like around 4k in this vehicle today, but that was one of my less good games. <laughs> Thank you very much, Naughty, for the donation. Do appreciate it. You can compare trash to trash, at least in Castilla. You can be more flexible. Oh, yeah. Castilla is a great map for most tanks. It's one of those diverse maps where you can do pretty much anything that you'd need. All right. So do we try and flank back and kill their TDs or, like, go back to our spawn? Two options, really. I you completely ignore mid in this scenario. When he does two KDM Going mid would just put me in a potential Chinese three-way RTs. crossfire slash counter push by hold down tanks. So I think what I'm going to do is spot up their spawn and clear out this side of the map first and then take it from there. So let's see what we can do from back here. Okay, so this C100 has been quite aggressive. Ooh, is he going to fully extend though? No. He might not, or he might. He might not, or he might. All right, this TNH here should give me a free shot. Boom, 350 into him there. That's good. And I think I do see a potential opportunity here. The problem is, is the 140, the 140 super heightened view range should be able to spot me from back here. And well, that's exactly what happens. The 140 does spot me. Uh, but at least the D100 will not be able to back up now. And I think the 140 actually might send it for me. Be kind of adorable. Track him. Nice. And good luck full sending it on me now, buddy. Yeah, that's right. I got a got a conqueror and a WZ friend for support here. Where are their TDs at, by the way? They're still unspotted. And that makes me scared. That makes me really scared. I think I'm gonna go back for Mr. Bash Shot Yawn. That looks like a better plan to me. Mr. Bash Shot the Yawn, Mr. TNH, they are kind of overextended in our spawn a little bit. We're at Seaside, so I'm going to see if there's anything I can do to assist our VK90 here, who does appear to be in a tight little pickle. And let's make that counter push. All right, it's the VK90. Bat Chat's making the break for it. Bat Chat has making a, broke, a break for it. HG. Oh, he doesn't even have a spawn liner, but RNG said, no, you will not hit that shot. How good you RNG. Ricochet pen. Interesting. What an interesting angle to ricochet pen from. Hello, good sir. Woo! Man, two low rolls in a row as well. We're going to win to cap, actually. We are definitely winning the cap. Let's yellow for damage. It's already Jover. It's Jover for the enemy team. We got to go for them cap, cap damage. What? Yeah, that's fine by me, buddy. That's fine by me. Here, here, here. Give me as much damage as you can muster up. Yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs> we didn't farm anything. <laughs> you just get fired by meds if your team meds have no brain cells? Uh, kinda. Well, 2.7. Wow, 2 2k get- Okay, to be fair. GGWZ. To be fair, no one on either team farmed that game. Like, five players on my team did less than a thousand. They had three donuts and four players that did over 1,200. Like, th that was just a no-farm supremacy scenario. But since we went for them early caps, we, we won very easily. Yay. Snap, I have 40 games at 3.6, so IG, I won't touch it. What, the WZ? 
I just just get it to 100, man. If you're averaging four, if you're averaging 3.6 a night, go for it. Team dependent. Don't come back even in the year. I don't know what's going on. Eh. Team dependent map. Well, most maps, <laughs> let's be fair, most maps are team dependent. There are very few maps where you can play without a team and win a 1v7, so. Some maps are a little bit more dependent on your allies playing correctly than others, though. I do agree with that. All right, let's see. So we spot a Type 61 here, who hasn't spotted me just yet. Half snipe him. Sadly, it hit his mantlet, and since we're getting actually buffed that tank's armor on the mantlet, we do not pen him. All right, Mr. Type still pushing in here. Woo! Bouncing ourselves a T-123. Was not expecting that. Okay, there's Mr. Bashathion. Bashathion's in the back. T-55A is cooking over here. But he ain't cooking hard enough. Do y'all know why? He doesn't have any support. So, no matter what happens here, he's dead. Um, in a moment's time. When he begins peeking again, he would be dead. You know what's crazy? Now, here's the crazy part. The 55A has more damage per minute than my WZ light. That's the crazy part. That tank with rammer is running at 30. Well, it actually has the same DPM. It has 3k flat with calibrated. I have 3k flat with calibrated. It has like 3200, 3300 with rammer. I have like 3200, 3300 with rammer. So we basically have like the same DPM at this point. Hmm. I was trying to predict his movements there. It did not go as planned. Well, this is just not going to be a farm game. Okay, I'm going to turn Supremacy off if it keeps being like absolute steamrolls. Yes, we're winning because I'm a light tank and I can just play caps, but it doesn't change the fact that all these games have just kind of sucked. Let's be honest. It's just like one team is super dominant. One team gets all the caps. One team wins. AMX should still be back here. He might have a shell or two for me. Back shot. Nice. Walking Trigger has the cover fire for me as well. I'm going to let the trade a shot here to keep this dude tracked. That's fine by me. We have like the same alpha damage, really. <laughs> oh, this dude is not having a good day. Okay, let's back up a little bit so the T30 gets distracted by the Waffen Packs. 450. Yeah, this tank's cooking. We are cooking now, ladies and gentlemen. The Richter is going to shoot him again because that tank has insane DPM. 2.8k damage dealt. That's all. Yeah, all of these have just been like, we get supremacy cap leads and it's just GG. <laughs> these have been steamrolls after steamrolls. Let me try putting a counter on. I know, like, I'm getting wins in supremacy mostly thanks to the caps being just like a very powerful asset when you're in a light tank, right? Um, But we're not farming. We sure, we sure aren't farming. These these games have been very interesting. So let's uh, let's put it counter, counter only. Kind of want some more farmable battles. Light tanks need a buff except bat trap. I would, for the most part, kind of agree. Maybe just tiny buffs though. Well, I don't want Wargaming to overbuff lights so they're like OP again. Because every single tier 10 light tank that we've had, except for the WZ light, has at one point been kind of OP. T1 LT was first released, broken. Sheridan when it was first released. Well, we all know what that was like. Um, the Vickers when it was first released. My goodness, that was just a tier 10 med disguised as a light tank. That tank was busted at first. All of them have been consecutively nerfed over and over again. All right. The only one that hasn't been <laughs> all that strong from the get-go is the WZ light tank. Big surprise there. Let's see if we can get some early spots up. We do find ourselves A5A. Unfortunately, unable to hatch snipe them. So I'll have to pull all the way across here to safety. 5 8 does does yoink one of my allies here. That's a bit unfortunate, ain't it? Not really sure what the 140 is doing, but it looks like he's gonna make a break for it here. Let's put a quick key onto the KPZ. Nice, even the KPZ is not safe. Even the KPZ is not safe from us. Uh, what the what what the what the 140 doing? Okay. The 100's positioning is quite bizarre. The 5A, I won't be able to really counter. That's the problem that I face right now. Is he gonna back up again? Nice, now the heat shell. No, this is why, I, once again, why I like to keep running calibrated on this tank. Is because I don't like to overextend in this vehicle if I can help it. So I'm gonna just shoot heat at everything that I can pen passively. I mean, I've already dealt a thousand damage. Just kinda sitting there to the KPZ. The problem's gonna be the 263 might grab all of the enemy's attention and bring it on to us. So I don't know how I feel about that. Um, 
There is an IS-8 here, however. Oh, IS-8's not even paying attention to me. It's aiming for the field tanks, maybe? If you get a lovely little max roll there, IS-8 gets baited into shooting. Now, let's not back up too much repair. There we go. Track him again. So, I'm not going to back up too much because I don't want the 183 to have three shots on me. You see how it is? It's a very big brain. Track him again. Oh, me and this 263 are working like a charm together here. Alright, 263 should have that clear. Now, I can start working down the W, this uh, TI-2E1 TI over here. Let's see, where's the 183 at? 183's not in a good position to shoot at me here. Go for another track shot, maybe. 450 max roll at least. And then we will try and drag him out as much as possible. Although we are definitely taking it. Really? Man, you're so lucky, dude. I'm dead to the 140 if the 140 sends it for me now. Okay, the 140 hasn't sent it for me yet. I can help our 263 out here, though. That's the good news. e is waiting for me. I can tell by his angling here. He's looking for the shot on me. Nice, huge, 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 huge. Okay, it's two versus one now. Which way is the 140 headed? It's not really moving, but the one... I don't want to overcommit here. We're all pretty low. It's it's two TDs and me on 260 HP. If I had been caught on fire, this would have been fine. That's a bit unfortunate. Maybe I should have given him in my side. He would have been less likely to hit my fuel tanks there. Okay. Oh no, oh no, that's not good. That is not good. Our 263 is just dead to the 140 here, probably. If he doesn't back up in time. Shoot, 140. Oh no, the E3 isn't here to support me. This is not good. This is so not good. Oh, this is very not good here. Should have ran sooner. Oh, 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 oh. We might be able to make it out, boys. We might be able to make it out. That track shot was huge. Alright, the 140 is going to flank around for me. I got to drop through the middle now, as quickly as possible. And hopefully I make it through safely. Come on, faster, 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 faster. Okay. Alrighty, how are we going to do this one, my dudes? I can support our E3 the best I can from back here. <laughs> Oh man, if only my two shots had penned the 140, he'd be one shot by now, but I've been like actually scammed on my shots against the 140 this game. That's the problem. I don't, and I don't know what our E3 is trying to do here. I don't like this position. There's too many crossfires that could pop up on me if I'm not careful. Okay, come on, you guys. Let's cook this up a little bit. We gotta cook up here. We don't have a choice. I'm gonna just have to hope that they come through, our, through their own spawn. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. E3 gets spotted. Hmm. I'll, I'll keep an eye on your rear, Mr. E3. You just gotta keep an eye on the front. My gosh, it's super windy out right now. Where's the 140? Oh, oh, snap. Yeah, sure. E3, why are you sitting in the most open crossfireable position where you're providing no, like, useful view range? I can spot up this whole region, and this E3 just sat there and did nothing. You're gonna have to go for the facehug, dude. If you get penned here by the 183, it's Jover. Nice. Okay. He can actually win this. All he has to do is make sure the 140 doesn't flank him. Oh my goodness. The one for, and the 183 actually hits that tiny shot. Like, my, my dude just sent it as well. E3, stay against this building. The 140 is going to come around from behind you, or maybe. Oh, snap. Okay, okay. You hit those. Wait, turn, 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 turn. <gasps> what? What? How? He stopped in front of you. Dude, don't pull forward. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Oh, my gosh. It's so close. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you should be able to wedge him out here. You should be able to wedge him out here. There we go. Pen it. Let's go. That's what we're talking about. Don't get yourself tracked, though. Oh, he got wedged against the wall. He's going to get himself tracked, maybe. We will see. Okay, now back up, back up, back up. Yep, yep, yep. But don't back up so much that he just pulls to your side immediately. Let's see if he actually can pull this on off. Oh yeah, he has it. Okay, he has it. He kind of almost fluffed it, but he should have it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh boy, that was funny. All right. All righty, all righty, all righty. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> We did 3.6. We aced. We won. 
the 263 cooked up pretty well that game and you know in the end the end the e3 cooked in the end the e3 cooked but it's mostly thanks to the fact that their 140 was really bad really really bad um the 140 didn't go for a single track shot like you make the e3 use his one repair kit because he'd already used the super speed boost and adrenaline before, when he killed the 183 so what the 140 should have done there is just track the e3 two times it doesn't matter if you get shot once just track him twice once you finish tracking him and he uses that one repair kit, it's GG. The one, the 140's 4.8 second or so reload is enough to permanently perma-track the E3 in that scenario. So if that 140 he was um, considering those options, he could have won that very, very easily. <laughs> Maddie's got carried by the threes, 263 and 2123. Uh, well, to be fair, I did kind of cook there, Loki, at the end of the game. Like, me staying alive for as long as I did was probably the reason that we managed to actually win that, or else the 183 would never have been spotted. The E3 would never have been able to kill him. So, it, it was it was a team effort. I, I will admit, though, they both did good damage in the end. But, um, it would have been fine if I wasn't caught on fire. Yeah. Interesting, TVP and Leo won gameplay decisions. All right, quick shot to the 113. We do have a Super Conqueror going into the middle, so that's the good news. That means I will not be completely isolated on this flank here. Um, and this 113 is just kind of sitting here, so that, that's kind of cute, I guess. How's life, Mr. Mr. Uh, how's life, Mr. Grill? Oh, hey, Mr. Grill. Hello there. Hello, Mr. Yag. How's life? <laughs> All right, we spotted up their whole team. And my teammates are still being oddly passive right now, but I think we'll be okay in the end. Although they might counter push the side a little bit. That, there is a chance of that occurring. I gotta be a little bit careful here. Okay, quick shot to the 183. Wow. All right, we have a Leo and a 113. Oh, oh, nice. Our E4 hits a nice shot. The Leo's overextending already. Let's go pick up a kill on the Leo so he doesn't farm out our E4 for free for the rest of the battle here. Hello, Mr. Leo1. There we go. Looks like our STB is having the time of his life as well right now. Not today, buddy. <laughs> Dude, everyone else is getting farm off of these dudes. Ay, ay, ay. Nice, uh, nice little counter push onto that Leo and the 113, I guess. They should be dead. The TVP is making questionable plays now as well, so that's cool. And I think this is just GG at this point. Although our 113 GFT may get himself killed here if he's not fast enough with it. Nice. Easy clear there. Alrighty. So let's see. They still have a 183 back here. That's my primary concern right now. Yeah, that 183 is going to be a bit of a pain in the booty. Alright, let's see. There's the 183. <laughs> Do we risk it for the biscuit, boys? I say we risk it for the biscuit. We're gonna take the snapshots. We gotta get the farm in on this dude before he dies to our 183. Our 183 is just. <laughs> Welcome to the 183 experience, brother. Welcome to the 183 experience. Anyways, with the max roll, I should be able to clear this dude here. Welcome to the 183 experience. 3,000 damage dealt. All right. Well, if I can YOLO and get damage on the... Ah, oh, not with that positioning. Not with that positioning. Grill, you silly, silly man. You silly man, you. You had one job. That one job was to not bleed out so I could farm you. How could you ruin my farm like that? <laughs> I'll take the W. Uh, everybody smash that like button. It would, crime, it would be a crime if we get to 150 likes. And it would be a crime if we didn't get to 150 likes in 20 minutes. I she. But we're already at 152, so. W. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Yo, our STB cooked. To be fair, he was just sitting there on that ridge at 12 degrees of gun depression shooting down at everyone. That's like a prime scenario for an STB. But he did a good job. He, he, he utilized his tank's rather broken characteristics to deal damage there. I respect it. Um, DPM inflation, imagine. Go to agree there, bring uh, bring the balance back and make it less yellow mentality with more HP across the board. Yeah, go back to the 20, what, 2019, 2028 heavy tank HP buffs, bruh. Easy. Let's see what we got here. 
All right, you guys know me. I really don't like facing on med side, so I'm probably gonna avoid a med side fight for this battle. But yeah, I think for the most part in this tank, we've been doing pretty good. I, I don't know the win rate for today's session. We've had a few like rat losses earlier on, but I think for the most part, we've been winning most of our games recently. And not like the highest average in the world, but enough to be sufficient. I think we're still pretty competitive, all things considered. All right, good early spots here and some nice early damage. Exactly average rule there. Let's see if someone else crosses the lazy route. All right, another shot. Boom, 404 damage. I see the 4005 has, has done got himself spooted. But uh, little does he know that I can also see the 183 and let me just back up from that XM. Thank you, brother. All right. What, what are you doing here? What are you? VK90, you do not belong here. Be gone. Ay, ay, ay. Why is there a VK90 pushed up? Oh, he just got himself 183. He doesn't even know how to play the position and he yolo didn't do it. I got, that's an early spotting position, brother. That's just an early spotting position. It's easy. Don't, <laughs> don't go there in your, oh gosh, our 60 TP is already dead. Mm, this is not good, guys. This is very not good. Very, very not good. I didn't mean to bait my whole team into pushing middle. Do I have crossfire? I have a 183 for cover fire. That's about it. Prong's gonna be the prog. The prog's gonna be on her flank pretty soon, I think. I wonder if I can cover our version 4 at least. Maybe at least I can cover our version 4. I don't want to overextend and get myself farmed by the prog though. That's my primary concern here. Okay, the prog takes one shot. You know what? Ah, uh, no. I would get yellow by the 62A if I pushed in over here. Speaking of the 62A. Oh, Mr. 62A, take 450 to the face. Thank you, good sir. I think I will hold down here nice and safe. Sure, I may have a prog problem to deal with soon, but at least I have a 183 for cover fires. Oh, he got popped. Well, that's huge. Okay. So where's this Progetto at? That's the real question. The real concern right now. Would be the Progetto's positioning. It looks like the Progetto rotated out. Oh, interesting indeed. Hi. Please don't shoot at me. Please don't shoot at me. That'd be really... It'd just be so rude of you, my dude. Thank you very much, by the way, for the donate or uh, for becoming a member, Michael. Alrighty. How's that gun, how's that gun man like armor holding up for you, brother? Really, E6? Really? Are you really just going to sit in the open and try and shoot at me? I guess he really is. Okay, let's not overextend onto him. We got to kill this prog first, I think. That'd be more beneficial for me and my allies. Ooh, 183 taking a bit of a sus susler among us shot there. We got to help our VK90 out here. That's, that's the important part for me. All right. What? Nah, there's no way that missed. Oh man, that just felt laggy. I shot like right as this tank was pulling around the corner there. From that distance with this tank's uh, like a shell velocity, that should not have missed. All right, let's see what we can do from here then. Someone's on encounter cap. The question is which one is on encounter cap and can I spot it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's an IS-4, interesting. Spot anyone else? Okay, there's the 183's position, that's huge. Nice. The VK90 hitting a nice shot there onto the 183. Should have a kill on him. Clean. Okay. Now, what do we do from here? Try not to get farmed by the Progetto. See, like that shot hit. I don't get how that first one missed, man. Alright, the VK needs to send it in now. 183 also needs to kind of send it in here. All right, here's what I gotta do. Kill this E6 here, and we're good. Nice, we should win. Nicely played. I wasn't anything too crazy that game, but I think I did my job. That's what matters, and we got the win. We got the win. I'm going for wins more than damage in this tank because yeah, it has such a low win rate. I wanna like buff it a little bit. You know what I mean? Big brain. <laughs> Anyways, let's go, Mr. Prog. You know what time it is. It is time to die. Easy. Four kills. Another W. 3,300 average. Nothing too crazy in the, in the farm. But hey, we got the W. 
I guess our VK in the end was pretty good. I mean, he survived and farmed there. It, it, it kind of worked out for him. I, I still wouldn't have recommended taking your VK there, but you know, he, he did what he thought was best. So I guess it worked out. Oh yeah, we are. Okay, yeah, this was the rat lost week, but we've won a lot of the recent games in it. I'm pretty happy. Lost Temple was super fun when it was a dark map. Lost Temple was just a fun map in general when it was released, dude. You had the crazy, the crazy med side, which is like a whole, whole experience of, in and of itself. Um, and then on top of that, you had the absolutely cracked, <laughs> the cracked temple where everyone would go hard on and fight. Those were the days. And another ape <laughs> who rushed to VK90 with 43% win rate. Uh, sure. I like how even, even with spotting things on this game, you, they appear with red marks on the map. People still blind. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you know, your average players are not the most situa situationally aware as to how the game is, unfortunately. I don't know. You would think with most of these players playing on PC and mouse nowadays on NA that they would actually be more situationally aware because it's like easier to look around than trying to swipe around on your little, little tablet or iPhone. But, oh boy, we have no support. I'm bailing on this. I'm bailing on this. This is not a good idea. Cog, this is not a good idea. We have no proper support here. And I tell you, it's not a good idea to overcommit to that. Yeah. Yep, it's most certainly not a good idea to overcommit to that. Alrighty, well, what do we do from here, guys? What do we do from here? I can't really push up to help our prog too aggressively here. Oh snap, I had a shot. Oh, I missed my opportunity to shoot that one three. Okay, we might still get one. So we might still get one. All right, he should be right there right out now. There we go. Yeah, this is just like the type of thing where you don't want to commit. You see why I didn't commit to this side, guys? Do you see why I didn't commit to this side here? It's just an overall bad idea. I do have a T95 for support, but yeah, man. Like, our whole team went the opposite direction. Poking there would have never gone well for us. The real question is, is there anything we can do about this? Real talk? Probably not. Oh, this dude has no clue what he's yellowing into. Oh, he has absolutely no clue what he's yellowing into. At least I have this dude on alpha. That's for sure. Maybe even HE kill shot? It would have almost been a kill shot. Okay, can we not let the E6 just yellow in for free? Thank you, guys. Thank you, heavies. Of course, of course, I'm still getting shot at by this dude. Hey, right, Seven, can you please be of more assistance to me here? Come on, come on, come on, let me pull in. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we're okay. We we are we are so not okay. We are so not okay, guys. <laughs> Why are they all just yellowing for me? And what is our team doing? Oh oh, our Yag is yellowing after a standard B. Okay, instead of just turning and cover firing us, our poor Minerato is just dead now. Or Ti five, I should say. Ti five, get one more shot in. That'll be huge. One more shot. Don't let your tank up. You're gonna make it easier for him to shoot at you. Ah, that's a rip. That is a massive rip. If he'd pen that. Oh, our IS seven finally showed up, and our our Yag is. Got it, big brainy. I'll block him so he doesn't run in front of you. Aw, you you little pigamous platamus prime. Well, we lost this one. We very much lost this one. I tried to provide cover. I tried to tell them with a negative and a ping that, hey, you shouldn't commit there. We're literally going to get counter pushed on because obviously their whole team lineup was going to push there. Um, and I, I took the yellow for the T1 and LT from the TI5 E6. I also kind of like helped with our TI5 to stop that whole push there. But like our, our heavies were just out of the fight the whole time. And the ISO sort of pushed him like way too late. And this dude's just dead. Um, Yeageru is not cooking. It looks like he is he's he's struggling to find his utensils. Oh my goodness. What a team. What a team. Oh man, all they had to do is pull back once they realized. Watch the Yag like one tap all of these fools. That would be hilarious. If he kills the 62A, I have like no, no doubts he could have won this. But never mind, N not with this gameplay. Never mind. He's just yoloing. What's the point of yoloing here? You're putting yourself into a crossfire. You only have. Oh, he's just gonna give. Oh, gosh, he's just.
just gonna get free farm to the 62A. Wow. Yeah, teammates like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a team. All right. I still did second the top somehow. The problem was, is the prog and the 200 LT had no situational awareness. Their 62A only farmed 4K and he had like three tanks to full HP farm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my mom, average best player. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> we do have moms. Yes, all of us do. At least I hope we do. And if you don't, something's wrong. <laughs> what planet did you come from? <laughs> what species are you born from? <laughs> Does you is a good tank right now, though? Oh, yeah, it is a good tank. It is. I, I really, really enjoy it. And, like, that's my first loss in, like, the last eight games or so. But that was just, uh... Bro, <laughs> AFK, I still did top. I mean... Yeah, but you basically got to farm the rear of tanks that were not looking at you for the first, like, once you woke up. Like, the E6, all of those vehicles were not looking at you. And no one was really tunneling you, let's be honest. <laughs> so, of course, uh, of course you did top in that scenario. If you, if you didn't do top, then you would have had to be, like, super bad. Okay. Boys, 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 boys. We hit these, we hit these. Or not. Or not. These are such tiny shots. It's rats. What do we got else? What else do we got here? Nice. There we go. Nice, quick, easy shot through there. I'm gonna keep an eye on the mini map. Okay, looks like my team's kind of cooking up on the other side of the map here. Oh, if you only had pulled forward all the way. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that's my clue to get out of here. That is very much my clue to get out of here. And to help my teammates kill the one isolated conqueror that literally no one is shooting at. Oh, a random max roll. 450. Let's go. That's pretty spicy. Ay, ay, ay. All right, guys, let's kill the Conqueror. I don't know what's happening this game. All right, Sheridan, here's how it's going to work. You keep farming out this fool. I'll keep farming out this fool. Nice, he gets taken out. Okay, we had to, we had to push there pretty quickly. One to one's the last one holding our spawn. So let's see what we can do from here. All righty. Frog's pushing in on our 1-2-1. That's kind of cute. But how much is he going to commit to it? How much is he going to commit to it? Did he overcommit? He may have overcommitted there, guys. At least his HP is going to be a bit overcommitted here. And so is my HP. He wants to see 100 yoinks me or this STB yellows into me for free. Okay, well, this is going to hurt, guys. This is going to hurt. Oh my gosh, Andy shoots HE. That's extra rap. Dude! What is our E100 doing, man? Ay, ay, ay. Like, leaving me to pick up that kill. Like, holy smokes, man. I checked fired once. And is there Yak Perma Tract here? Huge kill. Okay, we picked we picked up you two huge kills. You got turn on you his royal ammo arachnus mode, bud. His oil ammo arachnus bud. Thank you very much, Russian disaster, for the fifty dollar donation. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. You got to turn on your royal arachnus mode. I know, just like when I got those back to back racks in the two six eight the other day. That was really funny, to be honest. Okay, I should have the reload here to kill this dude. Maybe, huge man. I'm picking up all the kill shots this game. This game would be Jover if I hadn't picked up all these skill shots already. I have a feeling it would be Jover. Crazy dude rotating back press. He fluffed his first shot. He wanted to fluff his shot too. He wanted looking my way. Kind of will be. Yeah, I don't want to get stuck in here for too much longer actually. Yeah, let's rotate back. That's not good. Alright, E100, you gotta send it there now, buddy. You gotta send it. Oh, the E100 spotted me as well. This is not looking so, so good for us, boys. Nice, he gets taken out. I'm not gonna overextend here. I don't really trust these dudes who are just, like, huge and slow to be able to push out here and get a W, so... Oh, come on, gun. 
Oh, huge. Huge, 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 huge. Alright. Jaeger, do you hit those? Whew. I'm just gonna pull down. <laughs> oh, he's stuck though. He is stuck. He is thoroughly stuck now. Nice. Bro, I picked up five kills. I had to sweat my booty cheeks off this game. I did no damage, but I picked up the five kills. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, another ace, because this take is so easy to ace, apparently. You know what, Sheridan? You did a good job there, and uh, you, 100, you, you stayed alive in the end, so I'll give you credit for that. <laughs> that was such a rat game, man. Did 4K, and they got single-handed by one tank. Leo 1 is the beast. Leo 1 is an absolute beast. That's for sure. Uh, E50 has armor, like, unlike E50. The E50 did get an armor buff, though, I think, last update. It's a little bit better. <laughs> You're good fat niche. Yeah, Michael. E50M is largely the same playstyle as it was a year ago. Can be easily overmatched by Pramo, though. Still ramming God. Yeah, I mean, E50M, of course, can get overmatched. But, like, even my tank running calibrated barely has enough pen to pen its turret on flat ground. Barely. And if it's angling or if it's using gun depression, I really can't pen it all that easily. So, I mean, E50M armor is crazy. But E50 is pretty easy to pen. Any tips for the Chief Mark 6? Uh, adapt a hybrid playstyle. Don't do not do like super heavy tank stuff in it. Uh, if you can bully meds, go for it. It does a good job at doing that. That's what I would recommend for the tank at least. Oh dang, I missed most of it. Oh well, I guess I shall just have to catch up with the rerun. Hey Dwarf, welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Ooh, almost 200 likes. Let's go, guys. Doing pretty good over there. All right, let's see what we can do. E50M goes room a little. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of it, though. I don't really like the E50M's gun. This kind of throws me off. I know its armor is good and its mobility is pretty decent, but I, I just never been a huge fan of its gun after it after it kind of lost its accuracy and stuff. I think the accuracy was a huge part of why that tank was really nice. And once that got kind of nerfed and the alpha got nerfed, I just I just wasn't vibing with it anymore. You know, it just wasn't the shame. It just wasn't the shame after that. Okay, my team's not spotting the ship, so that kind of worries me just a little bit here. What the heck is crossing a mouse? Is our IS-4 spawn sniping? Oh, hey, Bobs. Oh my gosh, my team is not very bright, to say the least. Wish I had stayed in the middle. Okay, we see the E-100, we see the IS-7. That's good to know. Um... <laughs> 330? Nice. Hey, Bobby. What you doing over there, girl? He can't even spot me. That's insane. Buddy cannot even spot me. Okay, bad chat was not paying attention to the map. Alright, the good news is, well, the bad news is, is we lost the side. The good news is we can actually counter push their bedside pretty easily if we all work together. Um, the, the key being, though, we do kind of have to work together to win that side. Let's see what else is here. WZ Light's keeping me pinned down. I don't really like sitting in the back of spawn all that much, if I can help it. All right. Wow, that's a bit unfortunate. I know there's a VK90 coming in behind. I don't know who's on cap, and that could be very problematic for us. And the gun's trolling me, because of course not. Because of course, why wouldn't it? I mean... Looks like I'm gonna have to take care of the cap here soon. That's not fun. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to be the one to take care of the cap. That's crazy. Hi, hi, hi. I'll get the cap defense points. Don't worry about that. I got you on the cap defense points, guys. Ay, ay, ay. Now I got a VK90 problem and an IS7 problem to deal with over here. Should be a whole lot of fun. And possibly any 100 problem too. I gotta make an executive decision. That executive decision is YOLO the VK90 so our IS4 doesn't get full health by him so I can assist in killing him as quickly as possible. Yep, that is the, that is the decision, laddies. Of course the VK is just going to sit there and shoot at me. Because of course he won't be able to pin that dude. He bounced too. Why 
Oh my gosh, the IS-4 can't pen him either. So everyone's just shooting every, every, every other tank other than the ones that we're supposed to be killing together. Ay, 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 man. almost got their WZ light out of the game. Okay, this team was... I literally had to defend the cap. My whole team just sits there in their super heavies and somehow all dies. Or I was for his spawn sniping because, yeah, you know, I was for his best DD and dear Dan. Um... Yeah... Wow, that's... That's crazy, Mouse. That's, that's two shots of damage. Wow, three shot, 50... A thousand games and a thousand... What is my team? No! Oh, what? Did I actually get into new matchmaking? 4.5k games. 2 games, 45%er. 1,000 games, 50%er. 89 games, 48%er. 1,900 games, 48%er. 67,000 games. Okay, so the, the one player on my entire team that had experience is the one that did zero. Let's see what they had. 26,000 games. 2.8k games, that's pretty low. 2.5k games, also pretty low. 2.2k games, pretty low. 2.1k games, pretty low as well. Yeah, this is what new matchmaking looks like, by the way, guys. 3.3k games, pretty low. And 4.3k games, that's new matchmaking. If you're ever curious to see what it looks like when you get dropped into a new matchmaking queue, that's what it looks like. Um, Unfortunately, their team's positioning was just better than mine. But uh, if our heavies had just gone A-side, I think we would have won. <laughs> no fans as a team. No, it's 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 new matchmaking. Except for like th four players in that entire match, everyone was like 2k games or less for the most part. That is what new matchmaking looks like. That's what new account matchmaking looks like. That's why even in the absolutely terrible scenario, and I did no early game farm, I still managed to cook up four and a half thousand damage there by the end of the battle because like I just played around the IS7 and. <laughs> Bobby, those are shadows. You can't catch shadows, I'm sorry. I oh, know, it's a leaf. A leaf flew into the window. There's like 50 mile per hour gust winds right now. How many games does Fake Fatness have? Oh, wait, oh no, this guy has like 7,000, 8,000 games, Dragon. It's it's out of the, it's, it's, it's long out of the new matchmaking phase, trust me. Oh gosh, I accidentally hit my adrenaline. Very nice beam. Um, well, we did good damage. Unfortunately, we were not able to get the good win because, you know, we suck. Wow, that's amazing. Quite the, that's quite the experience, ain't it? See how, like, the moment you're reloaded, your, your camo has reset already? That's what makes this take kind of low-key insane. All right. And we're reloaded. And our camo's reset. And then we're spotted again. Then we just pull back. And we rinse and we repeat. Welcome to the WZ Light Tank experience. Okay. That's not something I want to poke, for sure. So I'm gonna like pull all the way back while I'm spotted so it looks like I'm flanking. And then, let's see, I wanna be able to help the front line here. The problem is, is our K91's already dead, so it's kind of pointless to push in and help him. Why is he dead? Because our 60 TP sat in the back of spawn. Well, that's not a good start to this game, that's for sure. And now our 60 TP pushes in when it's way, way too late, man. It's way too late to be pushing in. What are you doing? What do I do in this scenario, guys? Job with some 5-2 in the corner as well. That's the problem. Excuse me, buddy. Allow me to just do some- Oh! Positive just got Amaract. That is a negative elixir trade, that's for sure. Not a positive elixir trade, I can tell you that. <laughs> Where was I going with that? Yo, this dude's lagging, I think. <laughs> I think this dude's lagging. I don't know. It's it's just a hunch. All right, camo reset. Ability reset. Well, this game's just Jover for the enemy team, isn't it? It's so Jover. It's not just Jover. It's beyond Jover. I'm just gonna counter push in here and help our 57 clear out this dude if he can't pick him up. About 57. So I pick up a kill there, buddy. Hello, Mr. 777. Good to know you, sir. 
What are you doing? Are you having a fine and dandy day, good sir? Oh, yes, bounce off me, because why not? Okay, all their DDs just fired. Hello, good sir. You are dead too. Nice. 2.8k damage, 4 kills. This deck is great at picking up kills, not gonna lie. It is great at picking up kills. I pick up so many kills with it. 5 kill game and 3k damage, yeah. Talent. <laughs> Very talented. New imagine some 5k battles. That's why rerolls have such high stats. Yeah. Yeah. That's why rerolls have insanely, ridiculously high stats. And imagine, that was just a new matchmaking battle where there wasn't enough people for the queue. So they basically just plopped me and a couple other, like, experienced players into that game. Uh, imagine, though, you're playing on a reroll, like, everyone on the enemy team is, like, sub 5k games, and they have no clue what they're doing. And your team as well. But it's just, like, farm fest galore. <laughs> The kill collector, basically. Horrible sides. V4 is easy to pet. Yeah, V4 superstructure is kind of what throws it off. You can't angle that thing. You slightly angle it. Ooh wee. Mix want to lose my mind up here in in up in here. Ah, uh, okay. But no seal clubbing. <laughs> if you face straight, is very hard to pen. Yeah, I mean the V4 facing straight is what you should be doing in that tank if you want to um get any kind of ricochets. But yeah, any kind of tank with high pen premium rounds or premium AP rounds with like 300 plus penetration will have no problem buttering your tank. Uh, that's basically the, the experience you can expect. Anyways, let's see if we can find any- Oh! Well, that was a mistake. Guys, we done messed up our, uh, our little exp expedition to- Oh my- What is that? No! I asked for What are you doing? Oh my- You are a rat. Why are you sitting here? Oh my goodness, this IS-4 is not it, man. Also, that was a bot move by me. I didn't mean to drive off the hill, but our IS-4 just... If he hadn't blocked me, I could have saved a couple more hit points there. Speaking of IS-4, this dude is not having himself a very good game. He's dead. He's very dead, in other words. Oh my gosh. You're a rat. Okay, so my team can't even keep the Sheridan down. Me and an IS-4 are holding off all three of their tier 10 heavy tanks. This is what happens when your Pepega allies decide, Guys, I know which side of the map's best. It's it's seaside. It's med side. We're all gonna go med side now. We're all gonna put ourselves in a massive crossfire. Oh, I hit those. And uh, we're all just gonna sit here and let ourselves die. And we're not even gonna clear their meds out. I, say, I swear, the amount of times these Pepega Andes go to this side of the map, and it just doesn't work out. It really just does not work out, you know? It doesn't. It's just not how this map works. Not sure it fire. I can't tell if he fired or not. I think he did. The problem is, is he's still going to catch me on reload here, unfortunately. Even if I pop that adrenaline and try and run away, I am still dead to his reload. <gasps> oh! Oh! Maybe I'm not dead to his reload. Maybe I just thought I was dead to his reload. I'm still dead. I am still very dead here. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about this scenario. Yep, yep. Go, go, go figure. Called it. When will these, when will these uh, little dingleberries over here realize how much med side sucks and why you shouldn't just YOLO your team into a bunch of ditches where you're going to get shot down from on by an entire, like, <laughs> fire range up top. And they didn't even kill the Sheridan. I ended up having to deal with the Sheridan, the WZ light there. This map's been out for like a year now. You think players would have learned by now. <laughs> you think they would have learned by now just how dog water the med site is. But nah. <laughs> uh, that is login, bro. I, uh, yeah, there's nothing I could do that game. Yeah. A Leo and Soon 5B farm. Ugh, dude. Zero damage Andy. Zero damage Andy. Zero damage Andy. Like two shot Andy in the E5. So basically, my bottom four tier 10 players combined did 700 damage. <laughs> uh... Fatness, you must be at least playing member from. Fatness, you must be the last playing member from Krieg. Mm, pretty sure. Was it Dragon in Blitzkrieg? I don't remember. Or maybe Dragon wasn't in Blitzkrieg. I don't know. His username's Blitzkrieg. No, Dragon was in Blitzkrieg too, right? Wasn't Krieg in, uh, in, in Las Vegas? Mobile Masters Las Vegas. Dragon, if you're still here, that was Blitzkrieg, right? 
I think that was. I am the other WZ-132. Yo, that's crazy. Must be nice to have a team that doesn't full commit to med side. Must be nice having three 210 heavies that actually go heavy side together and push and basically just <laughs> not have an entire bot team just wandering in the middle of the map. Not spotted, so I don't know if their meds would spot me up though. But honestly, I think if their meds were over here, they would have already been spotted by our TVP. But it seems pretty likely that their team is being passive. Also, as you can see, the tree knocked down in the back of the map up there. It's, it's facing towards the, the windmill. So it looks like their team's not here. That's good news. And let's do our best to see if we can hook up this battle. I don't know if we will. We might. We might not. Yep, we definitely are going to have to cook up, though, even if we haven't cooked up yet. All right, HE. Yeah, we have to cook up here, that's for sure. And we have to cook up here pretty quickly as well, because our teammates are not going to survive very long against this many players on the front line. I'll have to start off by clearing Mr. Mr. Pugetto here. Never mind. My teammates are actually doing okay, so maybe I'll just crossfire out there. 2 and 5B for starts. He's more dangerous to me. Yeah, let's just crossfire. <gasps> Look at this positioning. This is some VAT positioning if I've ever seen it. Boop. Another shot to you, good sir. Stevie being a bit of a Pepega Andy. Uh, I mean... Projeto is being a bit of a Pepega Andy is what I meant to say. Alrighty, well that's my cue to get out of here before Mr. Mr. Leo and friends like full YOLO me. It's okay though, they'll send it straight into a TVP. The TVP will be my bait. Right TVP? Right there buddy? Right? Watch this. Watch this Leo find out the hard way. Ah, okay. No, he's not even spotting our TVP. That sucks. Come on, TVP. Are you just... Is he seriously just going to sit there for the rest of this game? Yeah, you have fun with that, buddy. Quite the player you are, indeed. Bop. Get out, played. And prepare to get yellowed by TVP now. That's incredible. That is actually incredible. <laughs> okay, I was hoping our TVP would push in with me, but, um... Nah, no need. Their whole team's just dead. Gosh, these teams are so bad. What am I, what am I watching? <laughs> I didn't even farm. I wasn't in a good position to farm there because I had to run away from the Leo and the prog counter pushing. Uh, and our TVP just sat in mid free farming the whole game. So he probably had a good game is my guess. No, he actually did less than me. That's, that's crazy. Wow, my team was really solid there. It was their turn, it was their turn to have the bot team. Let's go. Let's give me brain damage. That was Primal, hate us more, LOL. Ah, was it hate us more? I wasn't, I, so Dragon, I forgot when Krieg became knee and when he became Pramo after that, and then knee plus ultra. Uh, it was knee plus ultra, Pramo, Blitzkrieg, and it had one more name at some point of time, I think, as well. I forget the time, for, the timeline for all that stuff happening. It's been so many years. They serve in a nutshell, seven apes with one pro versus seven pros with three apes. <laughs> War Thunder Mobile? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I've had enough of team-dependent games. There's no way. Oh, well, look, it's Hatred from Doomed. We all remember this, dude. Yeah, from, uh, uh, what's that map called? Is it Alpenstadt? Yash, Alpenstadt in the M6 Yo, and he tried to tunnel for me, and he failed, and ended up getting, like, a thousand less damage than he could have if he had just been shooting my allies instead. Yes! I remember that player. That was a very funny game. Very funny player, too. Very good, sir. Take 400 to the face, for starters. How's that feel? Mmm. But that felt great. Alright. I'm still enjoying my time in this tank. Like, I know I'm not cooking. I am absolutely not cooking up damage in this tank right now. But I'm still, like... Having a good time for the most part, which is kind of crazy, considering that my average damage is kind of low at the moment, um, compared to what I've averaged in this tank in the past. What the heck is that? Oh, I'm glad I didn't overcommit to this side, that's for sure. Uh, is anyone going to be able to defend the base, sirs, ladies and gentlemen? Anyone? Can we, like, defend the capital, please? Oh my gosh, what is my whole team doing? I'm looking at the minimap, everyone's sitting back. That's actually crazy. Okay. Oops, snap. That's a rock. I gotta go defend the cap then. If our IS-7 can cap stall, that'd be huge though. God, this Yak's gonna be such a such a piggy though. The Yo is gonna be the biggest problem. It's just gonna be tunneling for me if I go for the reset. Okay, we got the cap stall. Let's go for one of the tanks. I think it's a Minerator that has most of the cap points. 
Okay, not the Minerazzo, but good to know. Next, next up, we shoot the Minerazzo again, because why not? Goes down in a bit, yeah, down just a bit here. Minerazzo's turned around for me. There's the Patton. Look at that ricochet. Not deal any damage at all. Great question. All right, let's stop bleeding. All right, we got the confirmed resets. That's all we had to do. Enough bleeding for now. All right. Now that all three have been reset, we should be fine here. 50B to cover me. I need 50. I'm at a 183. Also pushing up. Um, they do have this Yo back here. It's kind of cute, I guess. Uh, not really sure where their Yag went. <gasps> That's the Yag. Okay. Wow. So I just don't spawn him from there, apparently, until he's like way far down. That's crazy. I love this game, man. How did our 50B not spot him? Who was our 50B shooting at, dude? This game's just gonna blow basically it should be we should be able to win it but it's still just going to be one of those rat games i think you know the rat non-fun type of battles oh my gosh the pan spotted me up not good I wanted to flank around for free is she of course this dude's just dead now Man, am I ever going to be able to farm damage in this tank here? You know, I don't know if I can outspot the 50B, so I'm going to pull back a little bit, actually. These games are just... What? Server lag much? Look at their 50B. He also experienced it. Wargaming, your dog water servers need to be fixed. Look at the 50B, dude. Crazy. Like, the 50B also lagged out. Quite crazy. That's that's some uh, that's some more gaming servers for you, my dudes. Oh come on! Two fully aimed in shots, and we didn't pen a single HG on his side. What is this? And then we low roll. We have four four hundred and fifty HG alpha, and we roll four four fifteen with our kill shot. Okay, that's crazy. Wow, this is so laggy. Oh, my game like, is just a rat right now. It's it's too laggy. It's like really skippity, skippity hoppity. <laughs> leg time, <laughs> leg, leg time. Yes. Right, who put that rock there? I agree. Who put that rock there? Um. Man, it's so windy out. Wow. Okay. Well, that lag really, <laughs> especially in a good game. Yeah, that was that was like that felt like it felt a little bit off that battle. It's been like that all day. Not even me. I couldn't handle it. And trust me, guys, I tried the least day in the T seventy seven to have zero luck trying to four K. Well, four K is T seventy seven. It's like it's tier eight. Wow, that wind is crazy. There's just like stuff flying through the air. I wonder how hard these gusts of wind are. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, it's super windy out right now. Like super, super, super windy out. Okay, let's see if there's funny one up nice and early here. It's not what I meant, but it works, I guess. Oh, dang it. I missed out my early shot on the one to one All right, let's see. I should have enough ground depression here if he pokes forward or not. Track and pull back into safety. I can see from Mr. T124 here. Mr. E4 might be overextended a little bit. Just a bit. I have support still? I still do. Nice. Concept's also overextended. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to continue back and go. But I guess he got snagged on a rock too. Us and our favorite rocks, my dudes. All right. That's just be another pen there. Hmm. I'm thinking about how I'm going to play this. The Act Tiger's become pretty good bait so far, but I don't think it's going to be good enough. All right. Gosh, under his turret. Type 61's running away. Me and the 15 got to counter push this then. He's not like running away, running away, but he's running away enough where I can make a play for him. There we go. 410. Nice little high roll there. We did hit the concept at least once. That's good to know. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll help clear the, I'll help clear the type, my dude. You're going to have to just keep the one to one at bay for the time being. 
This type is doing his best. He's he's bone stock. I actually feel bad for him. Playing a bone stock type 61 has to be the experience of all time. Nice. Welcome to this map when you have med supremacy and now their team will just fall apart into a crossfire and die. Best map in the game. Very balanced. Like, I, I get the, the importance of having a strong med flank for a map design, but like, you shouldn't make it like 90% determinative of your if your team's going to win or not. Dude, where are you going? Told you, this is a kill machine. This is an absolute mean kill machine. <laughs> Five kills again, dude. I pick up so many kills in this tank. I guess it just has the right combination of DPM, alpha, and uh, accuracy. <laughs> and mobility to just allow you to just kind of run through and kill a lot of vehicles. And unfortunately, I'm not going to get a kill on this dude because that's going to steal my six skin. But uh, I'll take it. Oh, well, that's, that was an interesting experience. That's two and a half hours of WZ light tank gameplay. <clears throat> LCC accounts are handed from players to player. If they ever tank this off fatness, someone else could uh, <laughs> con control it, I, I guess. Yeah, probably. Uh, eventually, I'm sure it'll go away when I stop playing this game in the future. What's the rain? It's very, I can't say it. It is super, super windy. I don't think the mic's picking it up. Oh, there's a 65% chance of rain soon. And then rain after 8 p.m. And then rain tomorrow. Wow. Okay. What's the wind conditions? Uh, that doesn't say. Okay, let's jump into the next battle. Wow, we is this, our, is this our first time in two and a half hours getting this map, guys? That's crazy. I think this is our first time in the two and a half hours I've been streaming this tank that we've actually gotten this map. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. Still, I've been enjoying this tank and like, even though there's like, it's been kind of ups and downs in it for the most part, I don't think it deserves to have the worst like win rate in tier 10. And for the most part, I've been performing pretty consistently in it. So, um, let's not get hit by that. I was not expecting there to be a TI-5 over here. Also, look at my team's composition, okay? T57, Amex 50B, and a tier 9 Conqueror, maybe a VK72 over here. They want to go into a town fight with the enemy team's Mouse 50B, 57, XM, T124, TI5, right? Like, that is just not a good fight for them to take, you know? Look at their team's, look at what their team is doing. Oh my gosh, the Charf Thor spotted me. A bit unfortunate, ain't it? I'm not going to overextend here. I don't want to get pushed on. I only have a VK-72 for some support. And even then, he's not really providing all that much support here. He's kind of sitting in the back. So, I'm going to sit back here with the crossfires for the best, to the best of my ability. If the TI-5 comes here, then that's problematic. I think the Charfator actually has more DPM than me too, which is crazy. Okay. Ah, well, that's not what I wanted to see over here. Definitely was not aiming to have an XM 1v1 me, that's for sure. Oh boy, this is gonna be... Yeah, this, this is just where life absolutely blows in this tank, man. Yeah, I should have ran away sooner. That was, uh, that was silly on me. <sighs> yeah, what's my teammates doing in here? Out there, one v one like the mouse and things in town, I see. Very, very big brain, guys. Very, very massive brain, I see. Let's get the HE farming on this dude at least. Or VK's gonna have to hold her spawn for, for the time being. There's not really much else I can do right now. I should have rotated out of here much faster, so that was just a definite misplay on my part. Um, but our T124 is making good work here. We just gotta watch for that TI5 and the mouse. Nice work, T124. And our VK is chilling in the back of spawn for now. E4, you're gonna have to back up a little bit here, buddy. Okay, we're doing okay. We have a waffle spotting their spawn up. The VK spotting our spawn up here. There's the char. Nice. Well, we made a bit of a comeback. I'm kind of genuinely surprised. But it worked out for us. 
Hmm. What's probably going to happen here is the char is going to poke up on this right side, I think. Probably. Yeah. I can't really move on the TI-5 just yet. Until I know where the XM and char have gone. Oh, never mind. They're all just sitting in the open. Take it back. Can't even HE farm this dude. Okay, well, that's just GG, I guess. Ay, ay, ay. Or is it GG? Pretty sure the XM, like, I even out reloads me in this scenario here. Okay, VK. Pen him. Pen those. Huge VK. Huge. XM just fired here. Taunt the XM here. Make him a one shot. Stop getting farmed out, my dude. Stop getting farmed out if you can help it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I actually penned that. Let's go. I'm using this VK as a meat shield for now. I don't want the char pulling up behind me. That's my primary concern. I'm judging what the VK has not spotted, he may have gone for a flanking maneuver here. Okay, there he is. Huge. Alright, I just need to make him a one-shot for a VK at least. There we go. Then I pull down. To a nice, secure position. Wait for Mr. VK to make a play. Hello there, good sir. Hello there, good sir. Get him, VK. Get him, VK. Get him. Yeah, that a boy, VK. You show him who's the Bausch. Heck yeah, you show him with them tungsten shells. <laughs> Oh, what a weird game. Okay, so mistake I made there. Stayed in the med side for way too long. Should not have done that. I should have ran away way sooner to farm the 50B and mouse. That would have been the big break play, but I wanted to see if I could try and tackle that flank in order to give my team some kind of advantage, as I thought most of their team was in spawn. Once the XM got spotted, I knew it was kind of screwed because, you know, that tank has a good DPM and it's pretty mobile. Uh, and I could not really outrun it all that easily. I still did top damage there somehow. Uh... <laughs> うん。こんえっと、あ、こんたびね、わかるよ。あ、すいません。日本語があまり話せません。こんばんは。あ、オッケー。レッツゲーム、レッツゲーム。Uh, let's see. Chili, we got a Leo, we got a Sheridan, we got a, a KPZ 50T versus me and a 140. Um, I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest. Other than early shot into the KPZ for starters, at least. Okay. Oh, my team's going town. That is a bit, uh, that is a bit unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Hmm. I can't move. I, I, I don't want to get caught in a crossfire climbing the hill. Did they go hill with a mouse? Nah. Really? I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a little flanking maneuver here just to find out, to be honest. I'm, I'm kind of curious now. What is this man's doing? Well, he's not going for me, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> oh my- Oh my gosh! That is a mouse, if I've ever seen one. This is very peculiar gameplay that I am witnessing here, guys. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, hello. Oh, I had a kill shot on that dude. That was a- That was a throw on my part. I, I'm throwing. I'm a certified thrower. I'm throwing my chance to win here. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what are, what are we doing next, ladies and gentlemen? Well, 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 what do we have here? Got the shot to this dude. I love this gun so much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Engine deck? No! I thought I would catch him on fire. Ooh, 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 wee, ooh, oh my. Oh, oh my. Okay, you know what? Not worth it. I'll just shoot AP. I wanted to. I really wanted to. But AP was the play. What the heck is my man's doing over here? That is a very peculiar play, my dude. Okay. 
What the mousey is still chilling. The mouse is big chilling, guys. All right. Hello, Leo One. Goodbye, Leo One. Hello, KPZ Fifty T. And goodbye. <gasps> I've been scammed. Oh, he's so dead. He's so dead before I get to him. <laughs> you and the VG had identical damage. Kind of wild. Did we? I did not know. <laughs> I think it's a good tank. It is, but like, I'm doing 2.5k per game. This is the problem with this vehicle. I'm not cooking up farm. <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe we give Supremacy another try. Maybe the games will be a little less one-sided. <clears throat> I think it's a terrible light. I actually think it's a pretty good light. I think if what you're looking for is a light, this tanky is more than sufficient. Just got the E6 from the crate. Good luck to me. E6 is a great tank. Have fun. Where's your 10 light for sure? Are you sure about that? Are you, are you gonna tell me you think that the Vicar's light is, is actually, like, better than because I'm going to be honest, man. The Vickers Light with its 300 flat alpha and the, like, same DPM and no special mechanic and lackluster armor now. Of course. Of course. Yeah, but he's just going to sit in the most rat position on the mankind. I think I know how this goes. I think I know how this rolls. All right. Really? So the 60 TP actually spotted me. That's crazy. I should be unspotted now. I don't want to like completely give up med side, but I do want to see if there's something I can do about this end of the map here. Yeah, the 60 TP is going to be a problem though. He's just going to sit there and stare at me all game. And of course, look who's still tunneling me in the back of the map because he has nothing better to do. He could be steamrolling med side right now, but nah, but he's not going to do it. <laughs> what a joke. Of course. Wow, their whole team's rotating back into town. Oh, that's good. Our 422 can literally sit there for free now. That Leo's still going to be back there tunneling for me, though. Even if I make the slightest peek here, he's going to be trying to shoot at me. Is that two 317 damage shots in a row? Wild. At least it looked like it. Might end up taking a shot from the Leo. I doubt the Leo's still sitting there, but we might end up taking a shot from him. Okay, nice try, 60 TP. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this lineup, guys. How this matchup is going here. Seems like a lot of nonsense is happening at the moment. Oh, come on, man. Is that RNG? Go 388 here. Still got a Fosh problem to deal with soon. He hasn't proxied me yet. That's the good news. I'm gonna back up just a bit from here. Oh wow! Would you look at who's yellowing in already? Oh, dude, what are you? 422. Are you like okay, buddy? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, buddy? Of course he shoots at me, dude. Yep, he's just gonna shoot for me. No one else. 422 done got himself heated already. Come on, 183, provide me that epic support cover fire that we all know you can, you're capable of. Alright, track shot maybe? Not quite. Oh, nice, he died? Yeah, die, rat Leo. <laughs> Good play there, buddy. Um. Well, that's crazy. The 422 basically wasted the last half of that game just being a complete piggy uh, instead of doing what was necessary to maybe give our team a chance of winning there. Yeah, this is just uh, this is just uh, that it's that time of day where the weekend blitz teams go full sicko mode. Shoot it, you can hit it blind. Go for it, buddy. Hmm. Nice try. Let's play something else. We've played for two hours and forty-five minutes in WZ Light. I've had fun. Здорово всем. Здорово, здорово. Yeah. 
there's a uh, let's take the vickers for a spin because why not i don't plan on streaming it epic team yeah very epic isn't it just great when your teammate just sits there like ramming you instead of like relocating to put themselves in a position to actually deal damage instead of actually shooting the leo that they had shots on no it's just i, I just talked sleep schedule oh hey jen all right so for those of you I mean, I don't think the Vickers is terrible, but I think saying the Vickers is better than the WZ Light would be just a little bit far-fetched. I mean, this tank has no alpha. Its DPM isn't better. Its view range isn't, like, really better. Its camo isn't better. Its mobility isn't better. All it has going for it is gun depression, which, mind you, is actually a pretty big difference. Um, But I don't think that's going to be enough to just say, like, oh, yeah, that you know, the Vickers is just way better than the WZ. I, I genuinely don't think that's the case. I think the the Vickers is, is is fairly comparable to the WZ, but honestly, I think I would rather, for the most part, play WZ over a Vickers. Also, Vickers has no penetration and no armor anymore. And my allies are very silly, all sitting on this base here. Let's go, boys. We can go. Let's go while this the Gorilla 15 is distracted. What it does have, though, is hash. I will give it that. 330 damage worth of hash, I mean. Insane. <laughs> TI2E1 uh, bopping Vickers is funnier. Yeah, TI2E1 is actually kind of good, though. That's the difference. Or is it all that good after it got nerfed? That's the real question. I'm a bit concerned about those unspotted tank destroyers, you know? You feel me? So I think I might do a big oopsie play here, because oopsie plays are a lot of fun when you're in a light tank. All right. Never mind, maybe not such an oopsie play after all. We'll get a crossfire on this 268 here. Oh my gosh. What is the 268 doing? Why is he allowed to sit up there? That's the real important question. Yeah, oh man, this tank's gun handy. I just lost full HP. Was it worth it, dude, to sit there and tunnel me? Oh my gosh. Bro, these teams are something special. I must admit, they are truly the teams of all time. Track shot. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fashi. Hello. Oh no, I got hit by a 422. Whatever will I do? Oh, okay. Well, that's just not cool, dude. That's that's just not cool. That's that's just all kinds of not cool. Gosh, I remember when this tank used to have 550 maxwell hash and now it's 475. That's crazy. Time to send our salutations to Mr. 422 over here. Alrighty. I mean, I've seen worse tanks for sure, but this is definitely not one of the tanks of all time, that's for sure. I mean, heck, a 4202 is like just as fast as it practically at this point. 372? He low rolled me a little bit here. Snap, don't hit the HE into me. Rat! We're playing, we're playing Riga Rather Rosie Simulator. <laughs> oh, the 422 is not having a good day. Uh, I still, I still rather play WZ Light over the, over this tank, to be honest. Uh, it's, it's alpha, it's just so That's an ace. Oh my, this thing is like a low ace bar as well. Oh, we lost this one big time. This is so sad. How did our 422 do here? Jad777 from the AT3AM clan. Let's see how let's see how homie's doing in his 422. Um well, he has like he almost averages 2k most of his tier 10s. Almost! Almost! 64 shots of average damage in the 432. That all makes sense, buddy. I gotta give you the uh the upvote for your insane gameplay. Okay. <laughs> that was actually kind of a funny game. Um, yeah. Basically, yeah, we'll cover the other lights eventually. Let's try to have some fun. Uh, we'll do we'll go with the classic Try and see if we can get some hash into someone Baz is the ace machine, bro. I'm not an ace machine I'm just playing tanks that no one plays that are semi dog water not completely dog water, but almost dog water I, I still think the 422 is worse in my opinion uh, 422 and CS are still I think some of the worst tier tens in terms of their abilities right now Although if you run the heat gun on the 422, it's pretty good But then there's like no point in running a 422. So it's just like why you just play you can just play an m60 e50 m48 patent um most of the yeah, stb1 like they'll perform pretty similar to the 422 um yeah let's let's go have ourselves a good a good little game before we get off fuzzy day 
Okay, Fosh can hold its own if it wants. <laughs> Thanks for playing, everyone. Hello, hold down hero. All right, let's see what we're gonna do here. I had a pretty good session though, for the most part. Maybe like uh, around 70-ish percent win rate in the... Um, I don't have a feeling that shot would go high, so I aimed it so low. Um, kind of like maybe around 70% so in the in the WZ, and I think our average damage probably dropped to like 3,400. We started out really strong in it, though. It's just, um, we weren't farming a whole lot late game. That wasn't good, so. Or later in this tune session. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, what? No, I feel violated. How did that not fully cheap at the side of his turret? I could have done 1,400 damage to the piggy. Oh, man. I didn't think the piggy was just going to full send it. I thought the piggy was going to, like, pop up the mid and drop back. And then I had to adjust my aim. I still hit the side of his turret, though. That's what I don't get. But an absolute piggy miss platinum prime. Okay. Come on, Batchat. It's time to move. It's time to move, buddy. It is time to move. Time to drop down there, buddy. Come on, send it. Ooh, wait a second. Wait a minute. Who are you? Oh, enchanté. <laughs> the stick with AP is actually pretty, pretty all right, you know? It's all right. I think the mistake is just using too much hash than the 183. I would be on 2,000 damage by now, but no, now I'm only on 1,600. Oh, I'm lagging again. Oh. What the? Whoa, 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 whoa there. Whoa there, game. I did not give you permission to drive me into the open that much. Wow. Wow. That is an Elbozomus Maximus moment if I've ever seen one. Also, here, take 1100 hash to the face, Mr. 50B. Yes, yes, yes. Waste your time. Waste your time. Overextending saps that you will die. Okay. Sorry, I, I got a little, I got a little carried away here. Anyways, we gotta run away from this side a little bit. So let's try not to get the two and five. Be too many free hash shots on my side. Thank you. All right. Well, war gaming servers are doing what they do best, which is only work fifty percent of the time as intended. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't be mad at me, war gaming. Um, we know it's servers because like the other dudes were lagging at the same time as me in the previous matchup. Oh, hi, hi, hi. How are you? You having a good? Oh. Oh. 755! Five, five. I have 950 alpha! What do you mean 755? Oh my lordy. Well, but I guess we did our 4k damage ish. Almost 4k. We, we got scammed out of our 4k damage, is what I meant to say. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. It just wasn't meant to be. Oh. <laughs> Bro, why that was ruin me when I'm having a good game? Uh, yes. <laughs> Just drove my 140 across the map and die before coming back. Dude, so you guys all did lag at the same time. Dude, I'm telling you. Wargaming, fix your servers. I've said that in the past. People have clipped it in the past, but uh. Fix your servers, Wargaming. Let me say it again. Yeah, just how I did in the past. Oh my goodness. What is with this like random bouts of lag? <laughs> I took my hands off. I wasn't even driving my tank. It just kept driving itself. The moment I felt my tank traversing of its own accord, I took my hands off. I was like, all right, all right. I'm gonna let the lag go away. We'll wait it out. And then next thing I know, I'm like driven halfway towards like the corner. All right. That was a pretty good game actually for the most part. I kind of like, uh, I've kind of been having like better sessions in the 183 recently. And it's ever since I've started using more AP in it. Low key, I think I just was too hash greedy. No, the crazy part is I rolled like a thousand with AP and then I rolled 950 with hash. I'm like, okay, that's that's crazy. We just like did less than our AP alpha damage there. I'm so hyped for it. That would be a very fast tank for sure. All right, spot it up. Spot it up, you piggy heavy tanks. Go, go, go. Oink, oink. What are you doing? The oinkies are not moving, guys. The oinkies have spoken. They have decided that they will not move. Oh. Okay, back up now, buddy. 
now you back up. Now you back up. Yes, sir. Let me just make sure no else is back here. And what do we got here? So about me just trying to splash his side there because I thought maybe I wouldn't hit side. So I just went for the splash shot. Um, about that. Yeah. So um, that just happened, interestingly enough. Very interestingly enough, indeed. Uh, I was not expecting that there to happen. And 1,074. But do you see both of those headshots were sub 1,200 damage? By not a little bit, by, by a long shot kind of the problem this thing. Um, how boss? Howdy boss. How's it going? I don't just want to pen this dude. Because it'd be funny because why not? Wow, is this gun like working or what? Is this gun working or what? We have penned every single stinking headshot in this battle. I mean, that's pretty abnormal for a 183. All right, team. Team, 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 please don't make me waste my max roll on this dude. Please don't make me waste my max roll on this fool. I really don't want to waste my max roll on him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, let's we get the max roll in with AP then. I should have just yelled the concept. <laughs> I should have just yelled the concept. I should have just ignored this like and yelled the concept. I could have max rolled the concept. No. Okay. Fire mode engaged. RNG blessed, dude. RNG blessed me until that last shot on the tortoise. But you know what? I will take I will take RNG Jesus' blessing. Hello. Gotcha. gotcha. Hello. <laughs> Come on, what? Concept. That's the good Disney. Oh, oh, it's the good Disney. Oh, 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 <laughs> it's so it's so easy. Ah. <laughs> this was a fun game. I'm kind of enjoying the 183 right now. Not gonna lie. Although, can we just appreciate that not a single headshot that game rolled over 1100? Not a single one. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> we're getting our headshots, but dude, they're doing like a thousand to 1150. All right. They are doing... Okay, wait. I do want to check something. That first shot on the eye is four. I don't know where it landed. Because it looked like yellow. Unless I was tripping. Okay, I genuinely want to see where I penned that dude. <laughs> Alright, watch, 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 watch this. Okay, so we're waiting. We're waiting. Alright, there. Right, let's see. We load up the hash. Okay. So, let's see. Sides are yellow. Mantlet is gray, but that's not a pen zone. Where did it land? I can't tell. I genuinely can't tell. I can't tell. Is it true they're switching off the game in 2025? No, anything. I would say that uh, I am unaware of any game getting switched off in 2025, and I don't think Wargaming has any plans on doing that. Let's be honest, Blitz is actually probably a pretty big money maker for them with how many people wail on the crates here. <clears throat> Tasty. Penis is broken, lol. <laughs> the gun works until the dispersion says yeet. Yeah, basically. That was a fun battle! Yeah! Why am I getting like fun games in the 183? Usually the 183 is like the worst experience at the end of the stream, but I'm actually kind of cooking up in the tank right now. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to see about that. What the C is three times the charm. I'm guessing between the tracks or something. Yeah, it must have hit between the side skirt, like the top of the side skirt and between the top of the track. That's the only spot I can foresee that actually penning. Unless there's just a hit skin glitch and it was penable all along. Which is also a possibility. Maybe I got a max hash roll on penetration. That also would explain why you can pen some shots that look yellow. Because um, if you didn't know, RNG also has penetration RNG. Which means there are quite a few often occurrences where you're not paying attention. And um, RNG just says, yes. You're going to get like a max roll pen there. And then you're going to pen something that's red. That does happen sometimes. So, something to be aware of. Is RNG does exist in terms of your average penetration and your max penetration. Alrighty. What are we gonna do now? I think our 54's got corner. Like an absolute Giga Chad. 
Yeah, that's my boy. You get you show you show them who's the boss of the corner. Anyways, I don't foresee myself being able to pen this chieftain Mark Six very easily here. So we can do the next best thing, which is to pen his friends. But his friends aren't here, so yeah. <gasps> R54 almost through. R54 almost through. But he didn't. But he didn't. Oh snap. That is not looking cool for me. What are the odds we hit this? Oh, he hit it. But can we hit it back? Watch standard HE splash. Oh, I'm so talented at this game. I am insane. I am the goat of it. Yorime. No, he's gonna get fucked up by everyone. Except me, except me, except me. Yes, no, oh, I got him. Let's go. Now I gotta use him as a meat shield. Ah, you don't see anyone. You can't shoot me. I promise. I promise I am unshootable. I am, I am legitimately unshootable. You see no one. No one is here. I do not exist. I am a figment of your imagination. <laughs> All right. Yes, 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 yes. That's a good motion poo. 1280, finally. A roll that was above 1200. All right, all right, all right. This is why I don't snipe in the 183, by the way. It's like, it's so boring just to sit back and snipe. It's so much more fun to just YOLO and like, basically gamble your life in the vehicle for the chance to grief someone. That is the true 183 experience of, of, of our time. Okay. So. Fosh just clipped out, I think. Where's that 183 at? Oh, he's sending it. Oh, he's sending it. Okay, we got the max roll loaded up, boys. We just gotta get safe from the Fosh now. Hee hee hee. You did not see me. I do not exist, as I like to say. Oh, uh, we're definitely not getting the max roll, boys. We are not getting the max roll. We are so not getting the max roll here, guys. I wanted to, but we are not getting it. We'll get the AP. Gotcha. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Why am I actually having a good experience with the 183 right now? This is not cool. <laughs> it's supposed to be a trash experience, but these last three games have been pretty chill, like 4K plus farms. Ay ay ay. Bully the Fosh. Good you. <laughs> How old are you, Zebra? Now? Uh, I'm as old as dirt. So you are a prehistoric beast. That is crazy. Unless dirt is like, <laughs> I guess it depends on how old the dirt is. Don't jinx it, dude. Ah, uh, yeah, don't jinx it. This game is dead to me because of the teammates. This game is so dead to me. Ah, uh, is it? I don't know. It was actually, Loki, if you look at the Steam charts, Blitz has been like, like people have not been playing Blitz on Steam as much recently in the last like since uh, since like the last year, roughly. Um. The number of players has kind of been tanking on average. Like it used to be like one of the top games on Steam, I think, uh, like top ten for a long time. But it's kind of dropped out, and it does make you question why. It does make you question why. I think maybe Wargaming kind of went a little too crazy with the game modes and events, and they just kind of like people just don't have to grind anymore. So like until there's a favorite game mode that they want to play, they're just not playing at all. Maybe. A little speculation. I don't have any data to confirm this, so really can't say 100% for sure. You know how it is. Okay. So I don't like going caves, but my team's kind of all headed this way, so I'm fine with it. Um, let's see. I don't like this. I don't like this. I have no view vision. How did I get spotted then and there, too? Was I spotted from mid? Was I spotted from town? I spotted from my right side? Is there a 183 next to me? Ah, uh, that's what spotted me. Okay, so there's a, there is a 422 or 628. Probably 628 judged by the alpha behind me. That's why I don't like caves, man. Caves just blows. Absolutely blows. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. RG, RG, RG. Oh, come on, come on. Back up a little bit more there, buddy. Oh, I'm spotted now, aren't I? I'll take the 580. Really? This 422 is such a biggie. How is the 60 TP and one other 183 not keeping him down? Ay, yeah, yeah. Oh, that explains. Anyone else going to defend the base as well? This is not going well, ladies and gentlemen. I can confirm our teammates are not cooking. I repeat, our teammates are not cooking. No! It's the 183 and... Dude, okay. This team is a joke. What are they... 
Look at this 60 TP 183. What are their plans? Are you scared of 14202? I know I got kind of greedy for the hash on the VK there. Rat 422 going for the track shot. I should have just hashed my side. And of course, their 183 is sitting in the cap. We might still win this. I kind of don't have phase from my allies, but then again, their VK is kind of throw is kind of throwing. The problem is, is that this 60 TP and this okay, when he oh now he gets a free headshot. Lol. <laughs> 1613. Oh, it was a double shot. Okay, I see. Oh no, man. Why did our 60 TP? I didn't expect you to still be streaming. I mercy. Well, I got it through there. I I didn't think it was a 183 sitting on the cap. I mean, we sh I think we're actually gonna still win because their two 183s are just sitting ducks in the open over there. Um, but it, it's still kind of sad. That wasn't the hash game I was looking for. You went you win some, you lose some in the 183. It was a risky poke. I was hoping it was just like one of their other piggies that was on the cap there, not the 183. But it turns out I was wrong. I was wrong. If I hadn't been tracked too, man. But Pega Andy with the track shots. Okay. I don't know why our 60 TP and our 183 just abandoned the 4 tier 2 on that flank too. It's like, come on guys, you're, you're two tier 10s. I shouldn't be too bad for you. Let's hit the type 71. Ew, no, I don't like the type 71. What does it say? What is this? I don't know, man. I, I, everyone else is playing fine. What I don't understand <laughs> is why the 60 TP 183 are staring at a rock instead of like keeping the 4202 down. Because if they got the 4202 down, I wouldn't have lost so much HP and I probably still would have been nuked by their 183, but I would have still been alive and shot the VK. Um, give Leo a go. Fantasy test. Nah, no, nah, man. I'm going to show you the art of Gorilla 15, okay, guys? We're just going to pull like the most insane gamer plays you have ever seen in a Gorilla 15, okay? Also, please do not block my approach. Oh my gosh, he's, he's blocking my approach, ladies and gentlemen. Gosh, this tank is so slow. I don't understand why this tank has no armor and gun depression, yet it still struggles to reach 40 kilometers an hour. What the heck is that? Well, certainly wasn't expecting that for the start of the game. I'll take it though. I don't even mind trading another shot with this fool. We'll make him a one tap for my the rest of my teammates here. Uh, that was very rad of me. That was very rad of me. That's 1800. Well, 1900 really damage dealt already. All right. So do we think like they're, they're Emils or anything crossed? Or are we just, we think the Chieftain was the only one over here. We're about to find out, guys. We are about to find out. Oh, well, that's not very cool, is it? Well, I'm just going to accept I'm taking a nuke from this dude. I really wasn't expecting that, but um, there it is. I don't think they were expecting me either, to be honest. Anyways, this dude has a 15 second reload if I remember correctly. Still, I'm not going to risk it in case someone keeps pulling forward here. It's too risky. <laughs> Front lighting on your grill of 15 because yes, why not? All right. Oops, there we go. Just as I predicted, this Minerato is indeed pulling up. I got trolled by the gun because why not? But I'm still alive. <sighs> yeah, that team just sitting back. Problem is, is this 268, and I'm just stuck here for now. The VZ should at least be able to spot the Minerato if he pulls all the way up here, but not if he pulls up to like this position. Okay, so our E4 is sniping and spawn on 100 HP. Our E75 is also spawn sniping. Yeah, spawn sniping. Conqueror and 54 are doing their best on the hill. I'm a little stuck here, guys. That's all I can say. Your boy is a little bit stuck. 3,000 damage dealt already. Not spotted by the Minerato. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Fuel tanks, please. Nice. Uh, pretty fast on the fire extinguishing skills. I gotta give him credit for that. Oh, no. I see what's gonna happen here. So the Minerato's just gonna sit here staring for me. The Moishin's gonna push up for me, maybe. Oh, uh, what? Dude, VZ, are you actually this terrible? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> All he had to do was keep the Minerato down. I think the Minerato was going to be able to pull forward with the VZ here, but this VZ just is not shooting at him for some weird reason. I mean, I know you're shooting the moisture, my dude, but come on. There you go. <laughs> All right, that was funny. I was just doing that to, as a placeholder game. We actually got a cook there in the grill. I guess I shouldn't have cooked him in a taro, but I legitimately thought... Oh, we lost the 23 game. How unfortunate. They actually lost that. That's surprising. 
I um kind of get back into blitz after dinner. Gotta go. Gotta get back in shape after a break. Hey, Russian disaster. You know what's good? Oh my gosh. <laughs> he said it during live stream, which he has since took down. So I am told. Wait, what did I say? Jirdle's going to be number one player in NA. Hmm. All that I can say is I'm playing like dog water right now on my own account. Like I've, you know, I basically hardly played during the last two semesters at university. Um, and according to Button, I'm number three on average damage for 30 day on NA server. And I legitimately haven't even tried to play for stats on my account. I've done like some solo games here and there. So yeah, may maybe he's not wrong. Oh, come on, man. That RNG is, that RNG is baloney. Okay. That was annoying, man. I could have HE the side of the of the TVP there for a bazillion damage. That would have been so satisfying. Oh, Mr. Patton. Don't mind me, Mr. Patton. Don't mind me. Really? 570 on the front of a 30B's hatch? Really, that fully pens, right? No way, it doesn't. Okay. Well, let's see how it is going to be for, the, for, for now on. For the rest of... <laughs> Pull up again, pull up again, pull up again. No, he didn't have the courage to do it again. He could only do it once. Oh, this gun. Oh, this gun is so bad. <laughs> when RG is not on your side, it's quite the experience, ain't it? So we're doing a good job, like, supporting our team on the hill, at least. It's the least I can do right now. Is keep my allies, allies nice, happy, and healthy. Really, 30B? Really? Fuck me again, 30B. How dare you. Do it. Do it. The problem is 30B is like smaller than my tank here. Oh. This gun is just garbage. This gun's garbage. Why does this tank exist? This 30B should be long dead by now. Like, I has shot landed the center of his hatch. I see the hit marker from here. How the heck he's still alive? Who knows? Guess I'll just take the HE splash for 600. That's actually a lot of splash. That's why I carry regular HE in this tank. Look at this dude. He's so thirsty. Look at him. Look at him. Just hugging that poor. And our M48 pan already got himself killed. And our grill 268s over here. Our one other 183s in Narnia. Not in a position to help me out here, fortunately. Dang it! I almost had him there. Maybe I should have shot AP. He was so close. E6, you just gotta stay alive, buddy. What is our 268, like, not shooting at? I need to know what our 268's been doing all game, because he's just, like, straight up not shooting at anyone here. Oh my god, let, let the chieftain push all the way past you, buddy. If only I could help on this chief. Bro, holy moly, let's see. Oh, right, our 57 heavy yold, their spawn and died. Our 183 M40 pound yold, lighthouse and died. Why you go lighthouse? I don't know. It's the worst position on this map, in my opinion. You get crossfired from everywhere and you're stuck in the open. And our 268 just wasn't shooting at anyone. Did you say you hate the Type 71, which you list most dislike tanks? Well, this is just like, this is like the biggest scam of RNG I could have had this game. That's unfortunate. Wait, what else did I hit? Five? Oh, right. I splashed. I splashed the concept twice. Forgot about that. Yes. We lost. No. No. Oh, my. Okay, so the VZ cooked after all. Conqueror, 200 damage. 54, 300 damage. Yag, 700 damage. E75, 800 damage. T124, 800 damage. Wait. So I did 4k damage to my grill, like in that short period of time I was alive in that game. Basically killing their chief to mark 6, maiming their Minotaro. Wow. Wow, that is the team of all time. I thought we were going to win that. We basically picked up their full HP chieftain. We picked up their Moishin. We basically picked up their Minotauro. And we also nuked the VZ. And we still lost. Because no one on my team except for the VZ on my team did any damage after I died. I'm pretty positive of that. Wow. 
Uh, I guess I definitely should not have made that peek on the Minotauro. I didn't think my whole team was just going to sit there and not deal any more damage for the rest of the game. Nice timing there, dude. Nice timing there. Okay. So I might have hit one of them. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. We will see. The key to the blind shot is to not sit perfectly in the bush. Because when you sit perfectly in the bush where they expect you to be, that puts you in danger. Okay, someone else just fired. So let's take our blind shot now. And see how things go from here. All right. I wasn't planning to snipe here for all game. Just for the very start of it. You know how it is. <gasps> wait a second. Wait a second. No, none of my blind shots hit. Are you telling me? Are you telling me? None of my blind shots hit. I feel... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's satisfying. That's very satisfying. Okay, you're gonna back up there, buddy. Oh, you're gonna back up. Oh, you're gonna back up, aren't you? Okay, let's see how far he backs up. It's good enough for me. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. That's 3.4k d. 3.4k damage. Two hash shells. Oh, <gasps> who did I blind fire? Who did I blind fire? I should only be at 2.2k damage. That's not, that's not correct. Oh my gosh. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. You know what? It's actually good because I'm pretty sure regardless of what ammo type I would have shot, that wasn't going to pen. I don't think that, I think I hit the outside of his drive wheel. Did I hit the one to one b Did my teammates just abandon me? Did, did my teammates just abandon me? So I did blind fire the one to one B. That's good to know. Also, my teammates totally just abandoned me here. That's that's super cool, man. Yeah, that's that's just like the coolest thing in the world, man. I'm somehow still alive though. I'm not really sure how. <laughs> Six thousand damage dealt. Okay, uh, team, where we literally have all four of them on us over here. BZ, where are you going, buddy? There is no one over here. Maybe a one eight three, but uh... <gasps> oh my gosh! So our vickers really did not spot that crossing very well. I would never have sat there if I knew the vickers was uh, not going to spot it. I think we cooked. I think we cooked pretty good there. I mean, that was six thousand damage. I don't know who I blind fired though. I think I blind fired the one two one to be honest. I may have cooked, but I don't think it's enough to give my team a chance of winning. I don't know. I mean, there are some low HP targets here. Angle E75. The Conway with the stock gun is going to struggle to pin you. Nice. If there's other E75 going to A, or get the Object 752. Oh, we should be good. We should be good, I think. Yeah, we should win this. If we win it, I think I'll be happy with this game. Later, Fantas. I eat dinner now. Yeah, I was going to say, I got to eat dinner too. So, um, or at least hopefully eat dinner. I might have to make something. Um, I just want to see if our team wins this. If we win this, I'm happy the call quits here. And I think we do have a chance of... What happened to our full HP BZ? And why is the Vickers not just peeking over and killing the one? Dude, you can literally out... Dude, dude, do not give up the haul down advantage. How are you this bad? No way. Vickers, you literally could just shoot down on him from there. He, you could, like, bonk the top of his roof of his turret for free. Oh, gosh. Our Vickers is terrible. What the heck? Yeah, I mean, I, I knew he was terrible at spotting our spawn, but... <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, nope, the Vickers... <laughs> uh, oh, it, it's lag, guys. It's lag. That's why the Vickers didn't poke from above and kill, uh, kill the 183 that he had a whole turret shot on. It was lag. It was lag, guys. Oh, 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 we got a chance to win this now. You got a cap stall, though. Yeah, yes, my dude. You got it. All right, all right, let's see. <laughs> right, you're actually about to lose this. Are we, though? We're cap stalling. The BZ is about the big brain. Are you 75? Seems better than theirs. Theirs is just shooting HE. Never mind. Dude, go cap. Cap stall. He's 75. Just cap stall. The BZ is not helping. If the BZ could cap C. Yeah, the BZ's going for C. You got a cap stall, dude. Sit on cap E75. Dude. Oh, what am I watching, dude? What on what in tarnation am I watching? There you go. Oh no. 
I think he's lagging. Oh no, I think I'm lagging. Oh, this this server is garbage. Oh no, oh dear. Oh, we lost. We 100% lost. He lagged out. Uh, I think RE75 legitimately did lag. Dude, I just angle hold down. What? Oh my. Holy terrible, dude. Our Vickers threw so hard. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, this Vickers. So I did 6,000 damage. Um, I even had to pick up the kill on the one to one. And um, Mr. Salty6977 Andy over here. Who could literally shoot down onto a one? Oh, of course, his most played tank is an ARL 44, which is 60% win rate. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, dear. Oh, this poor figures. And apparently, we had a Leo PTA that did zero. And apparently, we had another 183, and he also did zero. Who did I blind fire, by the way? I'm curious. 500 splash on this dude. 1200, 1200, 11, Did I ever shoot these 75? 1800. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I double tapped. I double tapped the 1 to 1 B. That's what I blind fired. I double tapped once from the end of the game. Oh, I told you. I know, but like, how would our E75 was so bad? All our E75 had to do was drive into their E75 and cap stall on A while our BZ cap C. Face hug him and he won't pen you. Nah. <laughs> Turn the servers off. Uh, yeah. Well, let's walk into the game. Welcome to Royal Tanks Blitz. Also, I'm sorry about the terrible camera. My key light is still broken. Yeah, my $300 key light from Elgato. Nice, dude. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can try and get that fixed or look into the warranty or something, because that sucks and that makes the lighting terrible when it's dark out. Um, <laughs> Vic, the super duper hero. Thanks for the excitement. Indeed, indeed. Uh, anyways, yeah. Thank you very much, everyone, for dropping by today's stream. I actually had a pretty good time in the WZ light. It's, it's not perfect. It's definitely a little underpowered. But I think for the most part, the tank does have a whole lot going for it that is quite interesting. Good alpha damage, good accuracy, good mobility, um, an interesting mechanic. And if you play it correctly, you can actually cook pretty hard in it. I'm going to see if I can actually eventually get to 3500 plus on my own account. And I've been in stat repair mode for the last 30 games on it because I did not do well when I first got the tank. But I think with the, with the right play style, a lot of players can enjoy it. And I think it's kind of like a, just a cult, a cult case is the cat there. Uh, a cult classic type of tank. Yes, Bobby is is here. There she is. Hi, Bobby. Say hi to the stream. Say hello. Uh, so yeah, you get you get your little dose of Bobby as well. Thank you very much, everyone, for dropping by. Thank you for everyone who donated. Do appreciate that. And the moderators. And uh, yeah, overall, I had a pretty good time. I mean, the ending was the ending battle was a bit rat. I probably should just ended it on that one really funny game in the 1A3, that would have been probably the, the, the prime point to end it, but you know me, I just like to keep playing sometimes. Um, let me see, let me see if I can grab Bobby real quick. And it's open. Here, Bobby. Here you go. What do you think, Bobby? What do you think? Hmm? Yeah? <laughs> yes, Bobby says hello to the stream. Wave to the stream. Yep, there we go. He's saying hi. Yeah. You, you chilling? He's like, no, he came in. Release me. Release me from the clutches. Release me from the clutches. Oh, she's so chill right now. But she's been a little, a little crazy one recently. She's been like chewing my books on my bookshelf and like knocking things off. She broke one of my figures yesterday. Quite pretty kitty, but you love her. All right, Bobby. I'm up onto the chair behind me. Ugh. Ah, don't scratch my neck. All right. Boom. And now we're done. Tail down, Bobby. Tail down. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for dropping by. Peace.